You were so upset at the ending of Attack oh, on Titan. Yeah. You posted a video and you said, "Spoiler alert! No one has even any yeah. time to escape." I, don't, I hated it. Right? Yeah. Tummy hurts. Rub Such his thing. tummy. His shit hurts. I might have Why? to poop. You just send him a little picture message with a fedora, my lady. Oh my god! Can I open this e door for you? <laughs> I feel queasy. Hello, welcome to. <laughs> oh, come on, y'all. All right, ready? Hello, welcome to. <laughs> my fault, my fault. I swear to God. That was not serious. Someone asked it. Someone asked it. Hey, welcome back to Under the Influence. I haven't done one of these intros in a while. Um, the sauciest show on the internet. What do we normally say after this? My name is Vit Trap. My name is Vit Trap. My name is Wu Talk. My name is Jeremy. My name is Esther. And we are sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. And this is one day after the party, so. Yep. Hope you had fun. Yeah, I, well, we're filming this far yeah, before what? the party ever started. This is coming out one day after the San Diego party, so that's what he means. And just to manifest it, both parties sold out. They did. <laughs> what? Well, they at did. this point in time, they're, they're moving fast. All I the early no bird, the VIP are, are sold out. So, yep, yep, It'll yep. be sold out. Be on the lookout for the uh, oh. for videos for that. Just drop your city where you want us to come next. Yeah. I think we're going to the Bay, right? The Bay. The Bay. We're doing two cities in the Bay, I believe. Trying to do something in New York. And we trying will to do, something. do something in New York. Yeah, trying to do something in Texas. We will so. do something in yes. Texas. Yes. Let's Wait. go. While we're at it, let's go to fucking Australia. Miami. Wow. I've been begging Korea. for Australia. Hey, I talked to the Ralphs out in Miami. They won next year in there. <laughs> There's no Ralphs in Miami. Yeah, actually, oh. I was talking to the Prime Minister of Australia, and he was like, "Bro, I'm a big fan. Y'all better come." For real though, he with Florida, out to me too. for Florida, Publix is the biggest grocery chain out there, and we are in talks with Publix. I'm so, also in talks to public. Yeah, they talk to you? Yeah. What's his name? They told me to get out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to the store manager. <laughs> he was talking to the actual store, the sign outside. They're like, yo, get this bum out of here. <laughs> Flicked him with a broom. <laughs> but anyways. Do we have a lot of watchers, uh, viewers in SF? In the Bay? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. California. Nice. California in general. Nice. But, uh... The weather is getting a little chilly outside. I have finally fallen victim to the nasty germs these three have been spraying in my face for the past month. He deserved hey, it. Or it's could it be the nasty... Ah, I can't say that. <laughs> I'm actually oh. curious. No, I'm actually curious because everybody <laughs> has been sick. Like, everybody I know. And it's a weird type of sickness where it's lasted, like, weeks. Yeah. Normally, I'll get sick for, like, two, three days and be done. Yeah. It's not the case this time. I think you for get, you, I think you're getting old. I think you know. I, no, I so. think you would have healed faster if you didn't keep going out when you were sick. Yep. That's to also me. That. I think. Babes. I think for you. And then, but, but yeah. How would I have fun? Learn. Yeah. Learn to learn to just stay home sometimes. Yeah. yeah read a book. That? You guys don't think it's like who a was new out strain? last night and who stayed home? Who was out last night? You guys. Was I out last night? You guys were out last night. We went to dinner for our mm -hmm. friend that you oh, didn't care. But we didn't, we didn't wait, drink. Whoa, whoa. I was like, wait a second. That was that was at dinner. I wasn't yeah. going out clubbing. Yeah, we went to dinner. We took Brando drinks. out to dinner, and this guy didn't take him. Dude, it was like a 30 Nobody had drinks. Drive. Nobody had drinks. Right, no. Well, I had a wine. We're oh, talking wine. Eddie did. Me and Eddie had a drink. Eddie and yeah. I. Eddie. I <laughs> but anyways. But, yeah, I think, I think you're right. Some people, I got sick for like three weeks. It was the longest. Yeah. And but other than that, you just didn't actually take care of your body. So there's a difference. You're still sick. You literally are still making sick noises. You guys don't think and it's you're like still a new going strain? to the club tonight. No, for a friend. You don't think so? It's like yeah. a virus, dude. It's not just a yeah. No, it's cold. a virus. No, it's a cold. The, yeah, no, it's not a cold. It's dude. A virus. People are people are sick for like weeks. Yeah, not even just like. That's because you guys are soft. You with, know what? With, with little this is baby why, immune systems. This is why we we. You see these wounds? They healed in like four days. Wait, you I always wear bobby pins. No, just sometimes. He oh. does, yeah. He thinks he's pretty. Sometimes. No, it does make me feel pretty. He's also wearing women's underwear right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> just, hey, you can't show that. We're going to get demonetized. Regular. No, that's definitely women's. It's just our feminine that's color, but This is Victoria's Secret it's on Calvin the band. Klein. Why does it say Victoria's it's Secret? Calvin. <laughs> Why is it lacy? What's her secret? <laughs> <laughs> It's Victor's <laughs> Secret. <laughs> it is a man that owns Victoria's Secret Witches. But uh, I have no doubt. Where He's also from? a weirdo too, isn't he? Didn't he fund? He was one of Epstein's. Okay, we don't have to get a conspiracy. Yeah. Is he? Not yet. 
Save that. Yeah, yeah. We're on the yeah. way there, though. <laughs> spoiler alert for later in this podcast. Speaking of spoiler alerts, when you spoiled the attack, you were so upset about the ending of Attack I didn't on spoil Titan. It. You were so upset at the ending of Attack oh, on Titan. Yeah. I was. yeah, you did. You posted a video and you said, you're like, spoiler alert. You didn't even pause and you just go into it. And I was <laughs> yeah, like, like, and no one had even any yeah. time to escape. They're you, like, no. There's no way you can hit pause on the video. Wait, so why were you so upset with the ending of Attack on Titan? Uh, um, wait, wait, wait. Spoiler alert. We're going to discuss the ending of Attack on Titan, one of the greatest works of fiction of all time. We'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, go. So there will be timestamps for you to skip past us discussing Attack on Titan finale. But, oh, wait, did you guys not watch either? Fuck. Oh, <laughs> they're both holding their hands. <laughs> Are you sure? Wait, wait, wait. Tristan, just walk outside. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. Go outside. Just go outside. Wait, wait, time out. Wait, wait, time out. You guys have no idea what happens. Do you guys have a mic? Okay. Plug Oliver. in a mic so if we ever like talk to y'all, like, you can switch it. So behind the camera, we have Ian and Tristan who um, who have joined the team recently, but they have not worked up to the producer camera yet. <laughs> I so. love spoilers. Yeah, you're different though. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Because I feel like you're too like, lazy to watch it, so you just want to know. Very true. But well, also, it's just like... It yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wait you till they plug it? In and then let's send them into another room if they really don't want to hear it. Hey, let's let's before they leave. Let's be. What do you guess? What do you think ends? And then just let them leave. It'd be funny. Guess if, what you think? What? What do you think? How it ends? Nah. And if they get it right, we'll be like, yeah, you're right. Now stay. So, Boom. Well, you don't like it. I I hated it. What did you hate about it? I think that the ending was extremely poorly written. <gasps> but not in the sense of like every when I when I made this video, everybody in the comments was like, oh, you didn't understand it. First of all, yeah, you didn't. like I said, it's the concept is like you think I'm stupid or something. The concept's not that hard to understand. Then why didn't you like it? Humans because it the, the episode itself was very poorly written. It you was, think it's rushed? It was rushed. It felt uh, uh poorly paced. There was no anticipation up to spoiler, Aaron's death. There was no fucking anticipation to like anything. The like the Aaron? one cool thing about it was like a f the fights were cool, and that's the animators were, did their job well. Was there a happy oh. ending, or no. was it like was it kind of like an oh, open end, like Shutter no, Island? The title? ending, the ending, ending fit the 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 whole arc, which is what like I expected. Mm. So I'm not saying it's bad as in the sense of oh, it just didn't fit the episode and and everything was happily ever after. The why why was everybody like? Um, it was paced incorrectly is the only so correct you agree. thing he it said. Was, yeah, it was... No, because like the ending is a good ending. It was paced... Which he agreed with. It was paced poorly. Yeah, it was like literally... And also the weird thing is they were trying to drag it out for so long yeah. that they... There was like year breaks in between these like... This is the most... The, the biggest climax of this series. Yeah. And it was literally like three episodes and then fucking break. Why? Three episodes and then it's break. It's only three episodes? No, no, no. They would drop it in like... So the last like two parts was like movie length episodes. Oh. Which anime episodes are like 20 something yeah, yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 So if it's an hour and a half, that's like what? Like four or five episodes yes. at once, right? And then... um, So... But it... And a normal season would be like 10, 13. So if those two were just in a normal season with like maybe a couple extra episodes to have actually planned this out better, it would have been a great ending but instead it was like climax mid climax they take a year and a half break and then come back with like the the second part of the climax i feel like a lot of shows do this it's very and good. I, I, thought, I heard game of thrones was similar like no, that no no game of thrones just sucked dick really? yeah after like yeah. A i've heard yeah i heard the yeah, they just sucked fucking too. blow it but it's like the guy wrote the book the blueprint like how do you fuck that up if uh, by being too fast so like exactly what it is is there's such a hard switch right these well written things with crazy plot twists and like to properly lay that out, you need like time for the audience to like understand why this is happening, right? Yeah. But so Game of Thrones, for example, big spoiler alert. The biggest bi big spoiler alert. We're gonna say it one more time. All one right. more time. Big, big big spoiler alert. Girthy Brando hey, Schmidt. Hey, 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 someone's listening with like Bluetooth headphones. They're sprinting back to their <laughs> phone. They're like, no. <laughs> it's like ten years after the finale. They, they dive to unplug yeah. the speaker. <laughs> and then they hear just one word. Anyways, so by the end of the series, Daenerys Targaryen, one of my favorite characters in all of fiction, basically becomes evil and starts like massacring people. And she, she stays evil? She, huh? She stays evil? And she gets killed. <gasps> so like by her lover, Jon Snow. Right? Well, I thought they Jon become Snow died. lovers? Jon Snow comes back to life with, through magic. 
Oh, see, I, I lame. No, I no, 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 yeah, no, no, lame. no, it's not lame. It's not lame. It's That's not, not lame. realistic. No, it's not lame. <laughs> it's not lame because it's like he's. They're basically using the Messiah archetype. Like he is like mm -hmm. they're talking about the Lord of Light. That's basically like God parallel, right? And then he is not, like not lame anymore for me. Still yeah. lame for him. So basically, he's the savior, right? Because it's like the the witch that brought him back. She was like. I didn't even know I had this power. I just prayed to the Lord of Light and he brought you back. So like you have some crazy purpose here. And he was the one that united like basically all the humans to fight against the the the, the zombies basically, the ice zombies. This plot sounds like Casper the ghost, yo. <laughs> Uh, he comes back because <laughs> he comes back for a little bit, you know, because magic. This, this sounds like Home Alone. Yeah, look. All right, know, let's not disrespect Game of Thrones. All right, uh, so, still the greatest story, one of the greatest piece of fiction ever. But in one season, they took one of the most beloved characters who was like spending the first seven seasons freeing slaves, like being so altruistic and stoic and just everything, right? And in one season, she loses. She one has the most brolic army ever. She has three dragons, like fucking. The biggest side, like just the craziest weapon pieces of all times, right? And just starts crumbling. Like I don't know how she's losing battles. But but why she, does she? Why did she turn evil? So because all her closest like friends and confidants were being like one. She, okay, got to explain to you a seven seasons worth of television. Yeah, but do anyways, it in a sentence. So Daenerys. I'm not watch so it. so in this in this world, right? She was banished. She had to escape to a different country, different continent. And she, in that continent, like almost... South America or... Think of, like, the Middle East. Okay. And then Westeros would be North America. Westeros is the main area where the Seven Kingdoms are. She grows up, raises three dragons to adult size, and gains, like, four different armies. Fl sails back to take back her throne to, in this side of the world. And literally, it has enough power and dragons, like, nothing can kill a dragon, <laughs> right? To, like, take over the whole shit by herself. But, um, but she's trying to be, like... Nice. She doesn't want to start murdering people. So she starts losing because the other sides are evil and they'll mm -hmm. fucking do fucked up shit to win. And in being nice, she starts to lose all her closest friends and companions. Was she evil before that? No, she was never no, evil. Was Not like one inkling of evil. Yeah. She was like literally like an the, angel. How is she winning That's these what I'm battles? saying. In one season, she fucked... What? So, so she built this army, and she must have been killing people while building this yeah, army. Yeah, okay, she's not so evil, what, but she's a savage. She's yeah, so a, then what happens when she goes back to take her throne and she stops killing people? No, 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 she doesn't want to kill innocent people. She's oh, murking the fucking oh, soldiers, oh, motherfucker, it, but it. she's not burning down cities like she could with a dragon. She's not pillaging. Mm. Yeah, yeah, she could uh, easily ravaging. just... Instant win. Dragons are basically nukes. That, you know that's what her saying? problem. She should have killed everybody. She should have, but yeah. she didn't. And then the she and then the people she actually cares about start dying. And they use that as the excuse for within like seven episodes for her to go from the most beloved, most altruistic character to like literal psycho fucking warmonger, like terrorist, like riding on a dragon, just destroying an entire city. Yeah. And it made no sense. And then they killed her within like 20 minutes after that. Wow. Learn yeah. from her disgusting. mistake. It was literally disgusting. It was the worst display of television I've ever seen in my life after the best display of television. But speaking. Oh, I was like, what? What do you think makes the writers do that to the shows? Because it's like the. I know exactly in that huge, case. Yeah, because like, okay, with Attack on Titans and then uh, Game of Thrones, it's like a huge. What? Why do you always add an S to everything? No, she always butchers it just slightly. Attack on what? Titan. Singular. Uh, Titan. Oh, there's oh. only one. Shingeki no Kyojin. Ah, uh, see. Okay, so <laughs> Attack on Titan and Game of Thrones. Is it Game Thrones. of Thrones? Thrones. Okay. <laughs> and then she takes off <gasps> her ass on that Game one. Game of Thrones. The games so, like, of Thrones. Okay, Games of Thrones. So like, there's two Games of Thrones. Okay. Anyways, there's multiple games. Okay. No, just just continue. Okay. Anyways, so like, it's like a huge show. What like the fuck everybody is the loved it. But like the ending, why is it? Why is it that they rushed it? Because so, why would they do that to people? For right for, out of budget. For get, no, you think so? No, hell no. <laughs> Game of Thrones had the biggest budget per episode any TV show has ever had in, in history. Like, they know that they're going to get so much criticism for this, so why do they do it? So the show writers, uh, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, they got hired to do the new Star Wars trilogy or something, mm -hmm. and they literally on purpose rushed. They were approved to to keep Game of Thrones going for two more seasons. And instead oh, they were like, actually. instead of two seasons, we want half a season to finish the show in. So literally two seasons worth of material, they sh shoved it into six episodes. Money hungry Literally fucks. scumbags. They ruined oh, what could have wow. gone down in history. It would have been bigger than Lord of the Rings. It would have been bigger than Star Wars. But now no one even fucking talks about it. Like Star Wars to this day, people talk about it I constantly. I refuse to watch Game of Thrones because I just know the ending's bad. 
I'm still like, I... for six seasons it was like the, literally it made me happy it was my purpose okay. for living but for real oh, though what would you loser. do huh? what would you do if you were the 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 producers or writers if I was those fucks I would have fucking dragged it out I would have not even dragged if, it out if... I would have I would have given it the respect it deserved as one of the pinnacles of human fucking creativity. But even if they were giving you that much money to do Star Wars? No, I would have given a fuck. The oh, Star hey. bum ass Disney Channel ran Star Wars? Hey, the Star Wars bag. I hate the new Star Wars. The Star Wars bag must have been absurd. And then guess what? Yeah, they didn't it even get to. it. They didn't even get it afterwards because they fumbled uh, Game of Thrones so hard, I think. Really? Yeah, so it didn't even work out for them, oh, you fucking karma. pieces of shit. I hate you. That's well, anyways, crazy. in the Attack on Titan way, it's just rushed. Like, yeah. it was why just... though? That's the thing. Like, why? Why do you think they did that? Because oh no, I don't know either. Terrible. The other thing too is, uh, like, I, I I I didn't realize. Now you explained it, but I also hated Avatar for that reason. I was like, this which is one? The blue, the blue one, blue alien one. Oh, I hated that movie. That movie was so Talk. boring and it was such a regurgitated. story. Everyone made it such a big deal. It made like a billion dollars at the box office, and I'm like, this. Movie. While I was watching it in IMAX with the 3D glasses on, I was like, this movie sucks. It's Pocahontas just redone with yeah, it's Blue Alien. literally Alice. Space uh, Pocahontas. It's, That's fire. It's so fucking boring. I knew the ending. I was like, he's going to marry her. Uh, well, okay, yeah. so you don't like watching things you already know? It's a boring ass ending. Come on, surprise us. It was aliens. It was a new storyline. It could have been anything. No, no, no. It was and an he spent old storyline. Bro, no, it oh should have been. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Like, like those endings are. Depending on how it is, like most of the time you can guess what the ending is, but there's always if if they can incorporate like a good twist, like that shit would just blow your mind. Yes. The first half, so the the episode that came out last year of Attack on Titan, the movie one, right? Yeah, yeah. The the first half of the ending, only piece of like fiction that has ever made me like literally jump off of my couch and gasp, like it blew my mind. I forgot what specifically did it, but it did. Oh, was it um Gabby blowing off Aaron's head? It might have been that. It was something. I don't remember. I've but never gotten out of my chair over time. That's what I'm saying. I've like, gotten out of my chair. I've no, fucking bro, been was, like this. Yeah, you know why? It's because they watch anime and anime something, is like something crazy insane shit. Happened. But, but they had multiple chances to do it uh, in the finale. And spoiler, bro, Aaron, Aaron was like talking to his friend, like explaining everything. And there was a certain part where he was like, I sent the Titan to go kill my mom. They didn't even let that rock. Yeah, that was such. They, a, they just glanced over. I'm yeah. like, what the? That fuck? That was such a crazy pinnacle in the manga. It's like one of the craziest things that gets and this, revealed. This has been like a fan theory for years. Like people have argued. Like one side of the faction will argue, no, he didn't do that. One one side will argue, well, he did, if and this came, is why. If you came across the director or the writer in real life. Dude, I, it's you, disgusting. No, uh, so Isayama, you're giving the him mangaka. Hands or, you're giving him hands or no, not? No, the, the guy that wrote the manga, this is the difference of AOT and Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, the show passed the books because the show the, the writer, the author, George R.R. Martin, is a fat, lazy piece of shit. So he never finished the books. So they, the show what passed the books. He's, he's too busy flashing people. Yeah, he's too busy being a fucking Is he a fatty. perv? I don't know. I don't know Wait, where he got that, that from. Is he not the one that did that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need, we need I'm to get our facts straight, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I'm not speaking on that. All I know is the motherfucker had hella long to finish the books and he has the story. He knows the ending already. So he tells the show writers this is how it's going to end and then leaves it up to the show writers on how they're going to get there. And then they fucking fumble it in the worst way possible. Wow. And I'm sure he gave them really good directions on how to get that story there, but they just fucking were like, nah, we got a new bag waiting. I thought the real st- I, the rumor I heard was that George R. R. Martin was about to die. So they were like, yo, give us an ending. How no, does it end? No, I don't think he's about to die. Oh, okay. I don't think he flashed anyone. My bad. So I say sorry. That my man bad. is a genius. <laughs> my- <laughs> Me telling all my he's friends, just did lazy. you guys know the writer of Game of Thrones but is Attack a pervert? But Attack on Titan, these motherfuckers had the story, like the manga was finished already. <laughs> The story was written out. They had everything. They had all the tools to write it properly. And um, I guess it's a little different because the animation is so... Uh, actually, no. Game of Thrones had the craziest budget in all of television yeah. history. They, then the CGI was insane. Like, Where did they film it? it New was Zealand? Just... Everywhere. Iceland, New Zealand. Like, they have hella different sets. So It'd be hilarious if you just saw like a cameo from like Frodo. Like, they're <laughs> shooting in the back and he like... <laughs> oh, oh, and another thing. <laughs> so funny. One yeah. of the final seasons, bro. Crossing one of, worlds. One of the final seasons of Game of Thrones, one of the episodes that aired on HBO... There's a Starbucks cup in the shot. <laughs> so not only did somebody leave the cup in the shot, it went through multiple rounds of edits and revisions, and that Starbucks cup made it to the final wow. episode. Whoa. I think I've heard about this, actually. During the edit, the Starbucks cup is, like, hiding behind the brush. 
It's not even. It's like just on the corner of the table. They, like I remember that story actually. Yeah, yeah I, it was they all made, over. It was the like place. the advertising dollars were worth like like a hundred million dollars or something. Yeah. Wait, so insane. Starbucks paid? No, no, no. Oh, it was just on accident, right? On accident. It was like somebody's actual Starbucks wow. that they just left on the set. The money value of it being there, yeah. and then the money value of how many people talked about it. It was like billions and billions of impressions. Which because wow. the fact that it wasn't supposed to be there, just some blew fucking it up. moron. PA That's crazy. Forgot. I bet the name was misspelled on there too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. How do they miss that? There's so many people on set. No, yeah, I don't, exactly. That's what, and also your revisions like editing, right? Like you, yeah. a mil, like maybe a hundred people had to have seen that before it got posted. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of shows botched their ending. Prison Break was one of them. No, uh, Prison Break is an example of they stretched it far too long. Yeah, I'm like, what? The, this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, he's like freedom, <laughs> and then he's like, but my brother, <laughs> I'm going back in. I'm like, you stupid ass. I haven't watched it. You've never know. watched it. Let no. me ruin the ending for you. Go he ahead. never gets out. He just keeps going back and no, having no, to no. break out a new prison. It's not even, <laughs> dude. The prison becomes like reality at a certain point. Like <laughs> it's, it starts to just. It's one of those shows that keeps getting more and more intense. Like they're like, as if they wrote the first season was great. If it right. was just them escaping prison, it oh, would be great. Oh, it's like uh, uh, that car m- series, Fast and Furious. Fast exactly, and Furious. exactly. That shit yeah. is so wild. How I Met Your Mother, terrible ending. Uh, how does it end again? Oh yeah! Oh, spoiler alert! Um, nah, nah, nah! It's past. If you yeah, didn't watch it, it's, it's, it's Ted and Robin ending up back so together. Ted, so the whole whatever nine seasons leads up to to. I remember Ted. the umbrella. You see her yep. through the whole the last show. episode. What I will say, what one cool thing they did was like during the last few episodes, you can see his like wife. In in the scenes, scenes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you, was good. So you can go back and watch it, but that's the only cool thing. Yeah. Nine seasons leading up to him getting married to his wife. He's telling his so-called kids about this. In the last episode, his wife dies. <laughs> I didn't even watch it. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> his wife dies. Brutally so murdered. Nine seasons up to that. No, gang she dies violence. Up, I think she dies. She's part. Of, she joins a gang. <laughs> and then and then, um. The the other end game was supposed to be Barney and Robin, the best friends. Better. Barney and Robin, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, they Barney divorced. And Ro- I, I keep forgetting he's not gay in the show. He's yeah, gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they 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 get married, and then in the last episode they divorce after they said three years, and then the ending is literally Robin and Ted like. She's a homie that's, hopper. That's yeah. so weird because that is yeah, that's beyond homie hopping. That's you're marrying two but isn't, of your homies. Doesn't he? Isn't he telling the story to his kids and calling her Aunt Robin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but then he's basically oh, asking then, his kids for permission. The kids were like, "Yeah, Robin. go. We know yeah. you've been liking Robin." And Ted, Ted and Robin had dated before Barney and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it went Robin back and did. forth. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an incestuous friend group. Speaking of incestuous friend groups, well, when are you two coming out? <laughs> what? Huh? Are, He's what? a speaking of. Are you outing us right now? Publicly? Dating. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? It's a secret. We can I was always, joking. We can if always you played with this. the joke, it would have passed off as a joke. Just It's not a joking matter. <laughs> hey, editor, cut this? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Don't cut just it. Kidding. We're just kidding. <laughs> 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 We're not gay. <laughs> Maybe. No, okay. <laughs> But what, what was the fucking topic before that? Guys, uh, make sure to subscribe Incest. to the fourth wall. We're queer baiting for views now. <laughs> Wait, wait, you wait. said speaking of incest, what, what were you gonna try to cancel about? me? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't care. Try I to cancel me. Yeah, remember. he's literally uncancelable. We that's why we brought him on here. You know, yeah. we have different. It's a shield. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a sacrificial lamb. Every time the canceling comes, we hold him up. We're yeah, like, block it. <laughs> 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 All the comments are like, oh, he got face tats. Of course he's stupid. <laughs> you know, we don't expect anything else. <laughs> Get behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that, out of all the comments, that one bothered you the that most. One, that, that one has bothered, bothered me the most in like the past few months. Wait, you what? even brought it up in like we were shooting something else and you like messed up a line and you're like, I think I should just get behind the camera. I was like, what? <laughs> I should probably learn how to hold this camera now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said speaking of what? Incestuous. Yeah, what about No, no, it? no. I, I thought I had something to say. I don't. Oh. Yeah. You should well, get a face tat. This is a podcast. The I should <laughs> get a face tat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kidding. if I got a face tat, I'm <laughs> staying right in front of this camera. <laughs> what face tat you getting? Nah, nothing. No, Small I'm saying one. if you had to get one. A lollipop? I'm, I'm not getting it. I'm thinking about getting another one. I don't know where, though. There's not much room left. Yeah, I'm running out of room. Where would you, Yeah, I'm trying to look. We're definitely getting this one covered up. Which I'd rather, I'd rather get a d- honestly, I can barely see it. I'd yeah. rather get a neck than a face. I don't want that either. Maybe a little one. 
like just here, like <laughs> just a little one. Little one. Just a little one. I saw a funny ass thing. Was it with us? <laughs> Someone got their their neck. You know when it's like blacked out. The long, you, you've seen it where they just black out yeah, the whole yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. But the person did it a little too high, <laughs> so it looks like their chin is like <laughs> they, they lose the jawline. It like blended their jawline, so they just look like a thumb. That's oh a no. dumb ass fucking tattoo. Yeah, and I was just oh cr- no. I, was cr- I think it was a TikTok, and the person was like freaking out. I'm like, how did you not like they draw so the line? Yeah, yeah. And you look in the mirror, and they ask you like ten times. Damn. But that's like Johnny's tattoos are so perfectly tracing his jawline, and it's mm. like, damn. Yeah, that I is the one benefit. Though. The other thing, too, sharp. is that if I was doing something as intensive as my neck, I'd be like, get close, and then I'll stop and look at it, and then if it needs more, we'll go more. But it's like, you can't go backwards. Yeah. You guys drink hard seltzer? We do. Yeah, we do. But most of them are gross. We are. True. We got that weird aftertaste. Yes. Yeah, Ours is very, very clean Asian flavors, which no one's doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. First one, Asian pear. Did you say Asian hair? Asian pear. Oh. Okay. I got Asian hair. I was going to say, I'm like... <laughs> Wow, that's really actually good. Really good. You like it? I'm really picky. Really? What do you like, normally drink? This one's lychee. I used to drink the fruit punch trulies, and then eventually I was like, okay, they're gross. Got over yeah. It. yeah. There you go. I'm sure you hear the pear is really good. Pear and lychee are top two by yeah. far. Well, I appreciate you guys trying. It was really good. Actually, yeah. we, will take, we will take this. Hey, you'll take a box? Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you mind if I use your reactions? No, I don't mind. Uh, Great. I would have been gayer if I was just like, <laughs> oh, is it on? <laughs> It was so good. Wait, uh, it's the season's getting cold. Uh huh. Why is winter cuffing season? What a transition! Because Zero cold. transition. <laughs> because it's went, cold, just, and you want someone to wait, wait, hug and cuddle that. with. Um, speaking about uh, uh, attack, uh, what is it? Game of the Game. <laughs> speaking about Game of Thrones, which is Game of Thrones, right? Which, yeah, winter is coming. Yeah. Oh, that was better. the people that skip the spoilers are like, when did they speak of Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> Go back and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you skip the spoilers, we were talking about Game of Thrones for a second. But winter is indeed coming. Winter is indeed coming. It and has in come. this world, zombies do not come. What comes is cuffing season. What is no- known as cuffing season. So, what's the question? What's <laughs> cuffing season? He, I could see he was freestyling until the question hit. And then he was just like, why is winter cuffing season? Oh, yeah. Why is winter cuffing season? Speaking of Game of Thrones, <laughs> we didn't do it. We still, we, still, we still didn't do it right. Let's, we have to go back. Yeah, no, fuck no, it. It's, it's over now. So, yeah, now we have the clip. Just answer the fucking question. Yeah. Sometimes during like these moments, I wonder if anybody's just like, that's enough. <laughs> For sure, dude. Definitely. I'll come back next week. I'll watch next week's episode. Yeah, wait, wait. Comment down below if you've ever clicked off an episode because of how dumb we are. Oh, God. And then we'll we'll get smarter, I swear. I'll start buying omega-3 pills. Okay, so why is winter cuffing season? It's because it's cold, you want to cuddle. Also, there's holidays, right? There's New Year's Eve. There's also Christmas. And it's just like, yeah, it's like a... You, you go on a lot of dates, right? Okay, continue. Behind the camera, Vit has spit out his noogie. Is that what it's called, Nugi? Lugi. L- a Nugi? She always butchers it slightly. Look, L- Lugi. Attack on Titans. Game of Thrones. I, I, I butchered Attack on Titans because I've never watched it. Anyways, Nuggies, yes. Nuggies? Did you, you've never had a Nugi? Nugi? Continue. I, I, I said what I had to say. I agree. I think mainly I think it's cold and people don't want to go out to the club anymore. Oh, so you want to cuddle and like watch movies and be Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want someone to stay home with. I know why. Oh, Oh, yeah, go. It's because all the damn Hallmark movies. Hallmark movies are so bad. I don't I know a them. single good one. I love them so much. Okay, listen. Yeah, name one. I don't know the names. Yeah. I just it's just literally Hallmark. the same thing. I I saw like a meme where it's like they they like lined up all the ha- Hallmark movie, like the the what's called the the front, the covers, right? And it's just always a white, <laughs> white couple, white couple, white couple. And it's always the same thing. And they use like red font and like green. The guy's always wearing green, the woman is always wearing red. <laughs> and I was like, damn. They're trying to program us into wanting to be cuffed during the winter season, but I will yeah. not be programmed. And that's why I will stand strong on single man winter. You know what they should do is they should add a feature on dating apps where it's like, are you down for just a winter cuffing season relationship? Jeremy, well, I think they just fire. ask. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's, that's part of the conversation <laughs> that you should have with them. 
No, you move, I like I like his idea way you more. You want to remove even more of the human experience out of dating, Jeremy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, if if you were to be able to put that as an option where it's like, oh, do you want to spend Christmas? And they're like, yes. It's like, it's so easy. <sighs> it's just weird. Know. It's too, it's becoming more and more, like all the issues that social media has put or dating apps have done to dating, I feel like that makes it worse. Yeah, but it's also like, maybe a lot of people are like, in their back of their mind, they're like, I'm only really dating you for a couple months. They would get rid of leading people on. Yeah. It's just like, we know what this is. We're going into this. shit out old school. But don't you think people will take, uh, take, uh, what's called? Advantage. Advantage of people's vulnerability. They're like, oh yeah, this girl's down to fuck. Exactly. That's why you got to just put it all up front. No, no, no. Bad idea. (laughs) Well, I thought the option was to... If there's two people that are like, okay, I want, I only want a man or a woman during, during the, the winter holiday. season. During, yeah. Okay, winter season option. You just check a box. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm like, down to get used okay, for okay, the winter. Actually, actually, okay, maybe, maybe, no, no, maybe, no, 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 maybe, no, no. maybe, 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 maybe. He didn't even give a good like reasoning. You just got swayed. What do you mean? I gave a good reasoning. Put it all up front, so you Fuck. don't have to. Because in the back of your mind, both people could be down. Yeah, right? My tummy yeah. hurts. Also, hurts. we we live in L.A. and there is no Rub such his thing. Rub tummy. His shit hurts. We live in L.A. and there is no such thing as cuffing season out here. I might have to poop because it's not that cold. So I can still go to the. I could go to the club year round. It's cold. It's like cold, but it's like leather jacket cold. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Right. You go to New York, I dead ass would go out like 60% less. Stop, man. It's like it's hard Stop to do hurts. both at the same no, time. No, 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 no. Stop. It's it hurts you more. want to poop. But, uh, but yeah, so in New York, when that shit is December, January, you don't want to go anywhere because you have to put on gigantic coats. You need sweaters. Then you get to the club and then it's hot as fuck inside. Mm. And then it's the whole like... Chicago I was, too? Yeah, I was Ch- still going out. Don't worry, but... We, yeah. we went out when when I met you up in New York with everybody else. It wasn't as cold as I thought it was going to be. That it was, was kind of like week. a warmer. Yeah, it was yeah, a week. That, yeah, right. It was a it was a lucky week. Yeah, and it was a great week to go out every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a no, but, wonderful weather. But that shit sucks. It was rainy in New York at night one time when you get in the club and it's so hot and you don't want to leave your jacket on the chair because someone might take it. So then you're just carrying around a jacket if you coat check it. There's then you're a stuck line. in a lot. Like yeah. so. So yeah, what's the poop. what's the technique? Uh, you just a lot of a lot of the hoes just don't get cold. You just go straight to that bitch with no jacket. Damn, and that's what uh, that's what I'm saying. But that's why definitely like club revenue goes down in the winter time mm. in New York. It's like a given, right? But uh, but yeah, in in cold weather, a partner would be nice because you know what you should do instead of the club, a restaurant, Cuddle. and then go home, mm. watch a movie. Yeah, like why would you be at the club? But uh, but L.A. doesn't have that, actually. I've noticed that there, like, in New York, you can, like, genuinely recognize when people start going out less. You start to see, like, all these girls you met out on the, in the summertime starting to get cuffed up. And you're like, what the fuck is happening? The dating pool starts to shrink. But out here, that shit never shrinks. This you, shit is always ripe. Do you notice that those relationships end when, once the summer comes Sometimes. around? Sometimes. I wouldn't say right away. Because that's, too, it's like, people think cuffing season really is like a time period where people cuff. But like, if you're deciding to cuff someone, like you like them enough, you know, sometimes it ends sooner than that. Sometimes it lasts longer. A lot of players are taking out the game during cuffing season. Hmm. But that, many of them do return. I show. I, I feel like that's a weak mentality. A little cold. Like you're never gonna make it in the in the big leagues if you let a little totally weather. Agree. They were never you. meant to go to the premier leagues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they're gonna stay in the G leagues forever. Yeah, but you out there, all star team every single year. I've not. I've been first team all NBA every you've year. Been, you've been a f- offensive player of the year, <laughs> MVP, <laughs> and finals MVP as well. Hey, put up like scoring NBA, record. Put up like NBA statistics right here. Yeah, you have <laughs> scoring record as well. <laughs> and you were, I think it was in New York, you had seven back-to-back weeks on top 10 plays. Yeah, honestly, I do remember that. But uh, is that, that something that, to be that, proud man, of? We're making me look really bad right now. We're just joking, y'all. We're just joking. I wasn't joking. <laughs> we're just joking. I was just... Find out on fourth wall if you were really joking. <laughs> what, what would be funny is if we like gave each other like NBA style like We should like, do that. That'd awards. be low-key cool. <laughs> What would it be? <laughs> Offensive player of the year. What would this be in relation to dating? I guess to dating, yeah. Coach of the year, coach of the year. That yeah, would yeah, be a yeah, cute carousel co- picture. 
actually. Yes, let's make that. Low-key, that would be but very But let's cute. give the awards right now. I'm going to give myself, I'm nominating myself for Coach of the Year. Who will vote me yes? I nominate myself. I feel like you guys are just doing it. Yeah, you don't know. You don't, you don't know? What have I ever yeah. coached you? We, we, we need Vin in this. Yeah, I nominate Vin, myself. We need Eddie, too. Eddie, Eddie would vote me yes. Vin, just, he's, just, he's, just cut it, you know? Ew. Save the rest for later. Bro, who takes a shit in the middle of a podcast? Hey, so listen. You uh, rubbed his tummy and for, he said, oh, no. For all the audio go. listeners, Vit is dropping a vicious dump. It's loud. We could smell it. Yeah, He's literally screaming. I keep hearing the flatulence coming through three layers of doors. Is the mic yeah. picking it up? The He's, plops? No, I don't and think the so because they're too far away, but we okay. can hear it. <laughs> He's, he's he's moaning. I've never heard somebody moan. This is what it sounds like. Ah, ah. <laughs> While pooping. That's like turtles fucking. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, you've never heard, you've never seen that video? I have seen that video. Yeah. Then, <laughs> it's just hella slow too. Yeah. You just see it enter and you go. Yeah. <laughs> His neck just retracts. It's so, it's so gross, honestly. All right, what other... What other uh, awards what, what are going out? the categories? Coach of the year. Yeah. There's obviously offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year, Let's, ro- rookie. Rookie. Oh, yeah. Rookie of the year. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I know who's no, getting it. I know, but don't, don't say it. Why, why, why? Because we want a bit to be out here to oh, you're right, you're right. catch the reactions. Should we just cut right now then? Wait for his dumbass. Wait, comments. what are you? No, no. We'll, we'll wait. So, so, no, we're just listing the categories. So there's coach, coach of, of the, the year, year, rookie of the year, offensive player of the year. Defensive player, player of the year. In relationships? Rookie of the year. Or just, or like just dating. Dating, you know. thoughtery, you know, yeah. all that shit. I nominate myself for the prettiest girl on the podcast. Uh, you know what would be hey, you know what would be good? I'm right here. I don't know how you're going to take that. That'd be crazy. He takes man I can't even have the girl position. <laughs> there was one category for a girl. <laughs> Someone else thinks. You know what's a good one? Good what? one? Six man of the year, but it's wingman of the year. Oh, wing and another good one year. is two man of the year. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's- All right, well, okay, so now that it's back. So we're giving NBA style. Not another category? I heard. Also, clutch player of the year. Clutch player of the clutch year. Clutch player of the year. Say it into the mic. Say it into the mic. <coughs> oh, yeah. We His mic no is mic. not plugged. So we're doing NBA style awards, but for dating, thoughtery, game, Riz, whatever, right? So. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? old man I'm good how are you gonna go out to the club like that huh it only hurts when I cough it only hurts when he's not at the club <laughs> he, he coughs like it every five minutes I'm sober. <laughs> all right so I nominated myself for coach of the year but well, do you understand what we're doing yeah, yeah. Okay. so I nominated myself for coach of the year all in favor I like dating coach of the year Coach, he's yes, a hater. Coach. He's a hater. No, 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 no. Let's well. hear. No, no, no. Let's hear Let's some hear the rebuttal. Who's yeah. the coach of the Whoa, year? Relax, relax. You can't be pressing him. Let's hear his thoughts. Hey, you know, you know, this reminds me of dudes like Kendrick Perkins on ESPN, yeah, like talking yeah, yeah. his defense, like the one you know, with the worst takes. Yeah, yeah. You be thinking that he has these stats, but I've never seen Wu talk. <laughs> Go with your take. I would not say you're the coach. You're the player of the year. Don't worry. No, no, he has no, multiple. No. Okay, well, everyone can have different awards. It doesn't. It doesn't exclude you from being. This oh. is not like a literal NBA awards, man. <laughs> oh, so this is more high school, most expected. Almost, to- almost, yes, but yes, using yes. like more NBA terms or sports terms. <laughs> this okay, man okay, thought okay. he understood and didn't understand. <laughs> well, y'all should have done so it right. He was taking it too literally. Yeah, yeah no. y'all should have done it right. That's not how awards work, you fucking participation award <laughs> merchant. I did- Merchant, a partition, <laughs> participation you, award. You had a Who's chance like- to make that a fire roast and you fumbled that right at the Wait, end. Wait, you guys don't use merchant? Merchant, like a, like a pen merchant. Oh, it's it's more like soccer, European football. Really? They say they say. Merchant. Oh, you're so worldly. <laughs> That's the only sport I watch. Prick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wait, I don't know what I would be. So I, I. Don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. I have one for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess coach of the year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, coach of the year. Okay, so a unanimous coach of the year award for Wu Talk. You put coach of the year. Okay. All right. Player of the year. Player of the year. Yeah. MVP. Who's MVP? Would you Me? give it to Wu Talk? Yeah. Wait, so he gets two awards? It's out of the categories category of us four. It's like him against the Special Olympics. Like what the fuck? Does that mean? Should I to you? Cut that Who's one? the Special Olympics? We are the Special Olympics. Oh, okay, it's okay. like you're I was like, like no, <laughs> you're like winning against like the <laughs> <laughs> You're like me. <laughs> no no competition. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm Wait, like, you guys what? 
He's, he's saying that, that, that I'm just racing against people. If it was like, it would have been better if it was like Jordan and yeah, yeah, Brando yeah, yeah. and Wu-Tak. Yes, and- yes. Oh, you just called us dumb and weird? Not dumb. What? You guys are getting the analogy. You're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay, the, it's like a adult category, playing against kids. Yeah. Adult oh. playing against kids. If the category is like dating or whatever, it's right? Like, hey, six-year-olds, who's the coach <laughs> of the year? Me. Oh, that makes it, okay. I said the words dating and then you're like, hey, six-year-olds. Like, oh, sorry, it's sorry. It's like a weird... It was like a I weird. Also said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep making it a weird like analogy. We're just talking about. <laughs> hey, you guys so old. Yeah. Anyways. I always please get don't partici- misunderstand I always us. get participation awards Holy every shit. single time. I'm gonna give offensive player of the year to Esther. What does that mean? It means you keep putting up shots no matter how. You don't get discouraged. Mm. You keep shooting. You keep going for the basket. Yeah, I lose, but I, I'll, I'll keep going. Exactly. Nah, you That's get, you get some I numbers am. up. You get some numbers up. Offensive okay. player of the year to Esther. Defensive player I... of the year right here to Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It means that he's blocking every shot at goal. He's like, get out of here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, she don't get no fucking sports analogies, I'm realizing. It means that as many times as you shoot at him, he's also success- successfully deflecting those sh- those shots. So Mine? defensive player of the year. She doesn't even know what deflecting is. Yeah, it's like we gotta draw a diagram. Okay, so yeah. look, you Jeremy flirting, right? <laughs> Jeremy, no flirting. Hajima. Offensive, <laughs> defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I say no, you say yes. Okay, you say I, I want, he say no, no. And you say I want a thousand he, times, makes you offense. I say no, no a thousand you, times. You don't care. Ah, uh, okay. Abuser. Yeah, 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 low key. Yo, no means no, <laughs> Esther. Um, the other you one. You didn't say no. Who would be? Who would be like the six man is like the two man, the best wing man. Is the wing man different the than the two man? I think we should include our larger circles too, because between the yeah, four true, of us, it's true. tough. So wing Wait, man. What am I gonna win? We'll, we'll get there. Hey, it's not looking good for you, Ooh, man. Bench but, player. Yeah. What the fuck? Hey, you know who I'm gonna give rookie of the year to? Eddie. Oh. No, he's not a rookie. This motherfucker is a vet. What in is the a game. rookie? Yeah, this guy's been a thought for how for many years, years now? For oh, years. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're past your rookie season. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're oh. like. You you like Eddie's not a rookie because he's no, no, Eddie no, is a rookie he is he because he just became single. Oh, I get it. And now. then immediately started being a thought. No, nah, that's like making a comeback. That's like going into to the G League and no, then no, getting no. called back up. <laughs> Regardless, it's his rookie year. It's his first season with some statistics that this we can is, analyze. This is his breakout season. That's all I'll give him. Let's yeah, let's his think comeback about season. All right, well we don't yeah. have many rookies then. We're old, man. The fuck. That's yeah, our rookie. best chance at a rookie. No, you're old. What about what about like Nick? Nick Graheta? Yeah, because I feel like. What's up? Nick's not a slut. Yeah, he's not. Oh, he's not? not? Really. No, no, not really. Oh. He's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy? Yeah. But anyways, Eddie, that man's a slut. <laughs> that, that man gets rookie of the year for sure. Bro. You saw my text when we were at Hop Up? Which one? Uh, when I was just like, I'm done beating the nice guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's because Eddie, one of the contestants, once Nick left, Eddie uh, started talking to her. They were just talking the whole uh, night. I'll show you how it went. So they were on, like, we were wait, sitting wait, at a big table. Wait, wait, should we be exposing table. Eddie like this without him here? Oh, I don't know. It's just it's like, yeah. No, 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 no I'm just trying to paint a picture, okay? So it's literally, like him. Vip was by himself and, like, in the corner, just like. That's not like what I was doing. And then he, I saw him on his phone and I get a text and he's I, I get a text and he's like, I'm sick of being the being the nice guy. <laughs> Some shit like that. Nice guy of the year award for sure. Vin. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. That's After not even that fedora s- performance from you? They have is it out yet? Not yet. Oh, not but yet. stay tuned. I'm hey, disgusted. so we did a double we did a mo- we did a speed dating slash mukbang dating video. Very big surprise in there. Watch it. But Hey, you know who would be a defensive player of the year based on steals? Wu Talk against Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's so fucked up. We so just we counting how one? many? At least three? No. Two? From now on, we're not cutting anything okay, ever. Okay. Also, they're not steals. It's just so like Hey, fire the editors actually. No more edits either. <laughs> We're going to turn the camera on, turn the mics on, and talk. It's just one angle, no audio balance, nothing. This is what I've been waiting for. Every week we're getting canceled for something (laughs) different. Friendships are falling apart. (laughs) We we only have each other left by the end of it. (laughs) The whole industry blackballs us. (laughs) It's not that bad. We we don't really cut really that much. Guys, I also have to poop. I'm going to be back. (laughs) Who takes a shit during a podcast? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, make sure you cut it short, though. Leave your phone here. Ooh, I just thought of something weird. 
You know, oh, hey, look Eddie? who's here. Eddie. Eddie, come fill in. Eddie, Eddie sit out. Eddie, you know come when fill you in. eat naengmyeon and then you you eat it and you cut it with the scissor? Yeah. That's what I imagine his poop. Like, cut it, cut it short. It's like coming Ew. down. He just cuts it. It's like I'm ready. I've had to do that before in a situation. Ew, what do you mean? Hey, like, um, have y'all ever heard? Uh, have y'all ever been on Twitter and seen when people talk about porn stars like they're NBA players? <gasps> no. I seen one about Sarah J, and you know how she's not, you know, the most conventionally pretty. The the tweet was like. Like, she's not a star player, but she's willing to get down there and do the dirty work. And then he compared her to, like, Draymond Green. <laughs> oh, damn. Her game, her, she, he compared her game to Draymond Green's That's game. Funny. That's super funny. That shit was comedy, bro. I don't know who any of them are. Oh, Sarah J? Yeah. Or Draymond. Yeah, who uh, the heck is that? They, they're the both same people, just different yeah. industries, different different careers. Twins, different careers. same game. Twins. It's not pr- it's not pretty, but you got to just <laughs> get the work they, done. Hey, they get the work done. Sarah J looks like a camel. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, this is a porn star, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. She's just not very pretty. She's literally an online meme. So she's a porn star. A, yeah, and, but she's and, and she's, she's pretty big too. Industry. Oh. Just, just, just look her up right now. Just her face. And, her and face is like a meme. That's how everybody yeah, she's knows. Not her. pretty. Sarah Jane. J J J A Y. She she looks kind of like the uh, the the menthol camel. The cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey, you agree a, or not? We have a lot yeah, of porn star friends. Damn, Disagree, like, man. He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm gonna bring you down with me. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what's the new rule? Cameras go on, no edits. Oh yeah, we're not editing anymore. No cuts, yeah. no anything. Whatever you say is out so, there. So, hey, Eddie, when you walked in, we were basically comparing. So we were talking about cuffing season. We we're talking about dating, okay. and we were talking about how we would compare just our friend group, everybody in our in our tangential friend group, to like an NBA stat. For example, Wu Talk was like, I think I'd be coach of the year. That's true. True. Yeah, true. And uh, you know, also we gave you we year. gave you uh, rookie of the year. Okay. Because now you're being a thought. <laughs> oh, all right. And you put it up. <laughs> you putting up some numbers that are you know catching the eye of the league. The rest of the league is kind of looking around. So what am I, John Morant? Yeah, or like a like a mellow. Who oh, the fuck are all okay. these people? I'm sorry, but oh. can we put okay. it in like celebrity terms? Okay, so like, I'm like the red Teletubby, basically. <laughs> That's not a celebrity. No, no, no. I'd say, I'd say he's so like you're a, you're no, no, no. He's like you're, young. You're, he's, no, I got a good one. Winky? He's like a young Timothy no, Chalamet. I'm Timothy Chalamet. Young Timothy Chalamet. We're no, eighteen year old out. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> What's that? Eighteen year old Timothy Chalamet. Emphasis on the eighteen part. Mm-hmm. Okay. When he was spreading chlamydia no, he's like around New York, like a heartthrob. <laughs> Yo, Joe. Okay. He hey, welcome back, image? man. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to be back. For sure. And then we were thinking. I made a joke. I said Wutak is would be defensive player of the year on steals because of how many girls he stole from Jimmy. Oh man. Is it just one? I think it's at <coughs> least no. What? No, it's it, not one. Is it a steal if all, it was never his? No, no, exactly. There's never his. Like they're all they're all just shooting in the same pool. Yeah. And uh What would I don't know what mine would be. I have oh. nothing. You'd be grumpy vet on the bench. Nah. You're, like, you're like, I don't even like it's you. It's more stuff. like in the right team, he, he, he just be like. I'm a system player. Yeah. The wrong and then we're saying player. like who would be like the best wingman or best two man of two man of the year. Who's really good at wingmanning? Out of people we know? Yeah. Guess I'll take it. Are, are, you, a, are you a good? Are you a good? What, what successful wingman have you had? Like wingman assignments, I guess. No, or like who who out of our friend group have you like connected with other people? Oh, in our friend You're match group? made. Yeah, you have not done that. No, I have not. Yeah, you are not a cyst. Well, okay, fine. It's people you don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, Name them. I've em. also assisted many people you don't know or aware of. <laughs> Name them. The most recent one, you know, Sunny. You didn't do. Th- yeah, I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Hey, the audience doesn't yeah, give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I can't say their names. Who is um, the who is the biggest assist? It would be me. I don't think so. I think I, it would. No, I don't think so. I don't think there's you anyone. Leave, you, man, we need him sitting here because this would transition. That's nicely. what I was trying to do. Okay. I would say it's do, Jimmy. Do it again. I assist? would say no, oh, no, 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 no. Listen, oh, listen. Maybe only, Jimmy, only maybe because Jimmy. only because he has introduced people to other people. Yeah. And that's how our group grew. Maybe he's like unintentionally, you know. He's yeah, the, unintentionally. He's the man of the year. But Wutuk, then we'd be stealing hey, his his woman. Wutuk sent a text and it says "fighting for my life" in here right now. Oh no, nah. he's pooping. Is it because of the pizza? Probably. No. Was oh. the pizza good? 
Yeah, go it was okay. Some. Heat uh, it up. It was I don't okay. know if I want the pizza from LA. God, this guy's so pretentious. You know, when you've had pizza where I'm from, man. Uh, we've had pizza from, from where? You know where I'm from? <laughs> I know. Oh, this... you, I don't know if you know. No. I know, I okay. know. <laughs> New Jersey, right? <laughs> 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 hey, what's oh, more man. offensive, New Jersey or Long Island? New Jersey, of course. Uh, the fuck? Long Island is from. expensive, right? Is Long that Island is pretty. Uh, I mean, some parts. Is there more two bougie. Long Islands? It's like it's like bougie. It's like Orange County here. Oh, yeah. And then if I wanted to call someone like a, uh, you good? Huh? You good now? I made it. Oh my god, we talk. Thank you for having me. That shit followed you, dude. Sorry, I forgot to wipe. <laughs> um, wait, say that. Yeah, we, uh, we were saying that on the. I'm the wingman of the year. Six, why is he the wingman of the year? I think I am. Who who have you wingman? Uh, people. <laughs> See, that was my answer. Nah, 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 nah man. Who? Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? You need to give good examples. Well, no, no, no. Why is Vit the worst person to go to the club with? Okay, In boom. the clubs, I'm like... No, no, you can't answer that question. He calls himself a wingman. He's so. a wingman. Yeah. Okay, so you, you claim that you are you have the wingman of the year award. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say my testimonial. On, uh, I'm Sorry. not going to pretend like he's never wingman me in my life, right? But every time I go to the club with this guy, where it's just us two, because if we're with a group, he's, he's a very fun addition. He's a, he's a crucial piece of energy, right? But Vibes guy. Huh? He's a vibes guy. Yeah. Vibes guy. Vibes guy. But if we go alone, just us two, especially if we go to the club he wants to go to, where he knows a lot of people. Bro, there have been t- And Eddie's here. Uh, Eddie, come back over here, Eddie. Just come back over here. Every time, without fail, this is what happens. We enter the club and he'll drop me off at like somebody's table, like that he knows. We'll stop there and he'll introduce me to the guy, like just quick, yo, this is my boy, we talk, hey, what's up, dap, right? Gone. Like he's just nowhere to be seen. Oh. And then I'm like, and then I'm standing there at a, at a random man's table, some <laughs> random guy, right? And I'm like, damn, I'm like kind of sober, I want to drink, but... You I want to grab this yeah. guy's bottle. It's literally this dude, maybe two of his guy friends and like hella girls, right? So then I'm like, damn, I don't know a single person here. All the dudes are trying to talk to the girls. Like everyone knows each other. There's <laughs> alcohol. Like, like, hey, what's up guys? <laughs> but there's alcohol, but like, I don't know if I'm allowed to grab it, you know? And then he'll come back after like 15 minutes. I'm like, where have you been? <laughs> and then he'll like grab the alcohol. He's like, why are you not drinking? Look, 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 look. Hey, he wants some. And then I take it. And I'm just staring at the other guy, like the guy whose bottle is the whole time to make sure it's okay. And I'm like, <laughs> and then I hand it back, you know? It's like, it's like when your mom leaves you at the cash register, right? When it's about to be your turn. And she dips. It's Just worse panic. than that. Panic. It's worse than that. It's like, it's literally like if your mom took you to like church and then just dipped on you and you're starving and there's food, but you're like, I don't know if I'm allowed to eat. And, and everyone. Comes around. And the money thing. Comes oh yeah. The money thing comes around. They're like, Hey, do you guys want to put money in the donation thing? And you're just like, where's my mom? <laughs> You get nervous for that? But anyways, Eddie. I'll let, I'll let Eddie say his piece before yeah, yeah, I say yeah. mine. Say, say your piece, Eddie. Am I saying any it, lies? It's a weird thing to leave somebody at a table that I'll knows say my nobody. Piece. I'll say my piece. Okay, yeah, let's Eddie. go around. Eddie first, Eddie. Do you agree or disagree? I, I, I agree for the most part, but this last time that I went with him, because this was my first time going to the club just with him. Oh, without Wu Talk? Without Wu Talk. Oh, wow. What was the occasion? He just I wanted to go out, and he's like, let's this guy's go a out. Thought. Rookie of the Halloween. year, for sure. Yeah, so uh, I, I went out there and then, and we was in what was the club we went to? With the, uh, during we went Halloween? to my friend Chase's birth uh, Halloween party first. Oh, that, yeah, that wasn't so bad because he, he was like taking me around, and introduced me to everybody. Yeah, and then so we went fun. to Hyde. And then yeah, we went to Hyde. That was like I was like uncomfortable at Hyde because it was super packed. And then like he's like come up like onto like the the to like the fucking sofa area. And I don't know anybody. I'm like, I don't want to come up there. There doesn't seem to be that much space. Just at a higher vantage point, Eddie with his hands in his pocket. Kevin he, James literally pose, my hands like, in my pocket, bro. And then he's like, just come up, bro. Just fucking come up. And I'm like, I, I come up and I'm like, okay. And then like the girls are like looking at me like, like, like I just ate their space. And I'm like, word. And then he and then they give me a bottle. I'm like, I don't know what to do with this bottle. I don't feel comfortable with this bottle. He's like, drink up, baby boy. You got to catch up. And I'm like, okay. And I started drinking. Say hi to his boy. Five minutes later, his boy's like, yeah, you, you you gotta go back down, bro. You like you, you're eating the girl's space. I'm like, what? Word. He uh, said, no, I mean, understandably, like it's like there's not much space yeah, on the yeah, couches yeah. as it is. Yeah. Oh, and I'm, so I'm a man, it's, and there's like six girls on the couch. It's like, still a painful feeling. You just slide, climb down, and it feels like all eyes are on you. Everybody's just watching you slink down to the lower level. It was just first like, of all, they're like packed the f- as fuck. Too. They're looking at all these girls, and then they're like, "What is that guy doing up there?" Just like not talking, and then he like slowly climbs down. 
Yeah, it was. You just look like a bot, like a t- like a bottle rat, you know. Thank you. <laughs> he just roasted Thank him. You. No, <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, that's what he did to you. Yeah, he made you look bad. He made you look bad. Oh. <laughs> okay, say your piece, Vit. All I know is it was it was not comfortable that, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. yep. That's exactly what's happened to me many times. And then and then when he does that. I have to now like make my own way. At a certain point, I give up on him coming back in and introducing okay. me to anyone. I have anyone. a question. Vit, are you aware of this or are you, this is the first time you, you're hearing about this? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. <laughs> you guys don't tell him this? I'm dead ass. Yeah, why don't you guys tell him Look this? Because it's obvious. Yeah. I firmly I would... believe, okay, in my mind, so this is how the night starts. I put in a lot of work to, to have my friends come with me to the club, get in for free, come to the table and drink. So in my mind, and maybe it is that, that I'm not aware that I'm not thinking like, oh, you know, they're kind of strangers. So maybe. Yeah, you maybe, never once thought that. But I just, because I don't feel that way. That's crazy. Oh, well, yeah, because you know. No, 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 no. If, I, if you bring me to a table with your homies, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to automatically assume they like me because I'm your boy. Okay, regardless, I put in a million times more work to make sure my homies are going to accept whoever yeah. I'm bringing to the table. This makes sense. I put in hella work. Do I not? He does. I put in hella work. Any normal person does, right? Yeah, you go yeah. around and introduce them. No, you them. don't. You're like, if I, I brought you to them. a restaurant yeah. or No, no, party, that's all you do. I'll, I'll, show you the, I'll show you the difference. With you, it would be like, yo, this is my boy. I, I love him, blah, blah, blah. That's the bare minimum. He would be like, this guy's the most talented person I ever met in my life. I'm telling you, you should meet this man. No, no, no. Same thing with Jeremy. Jeremy will make you feel but like- But I can't say all that in no, a no, club. No, 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 but time out. Also, what I, I noticed- I all that in a club? No, 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 but time out. What I notice too, or what I do, or he does, me and him both do, if he sees that somebody from the outside is now alone, he'll be like, yo, come here, have a shot. Put it in, you know, match make you with somebody else or bring you into his conversation and just be like, my boy. And then he'll just do that over and over until everybody's comfortable with that person. That's what I do. No, you don't. You do, you're the opposite of that. Wait, this makes sense because Vit, when he brings girls, he's not even talking Literally to them. Literally leaves and, them. And we end up, we end up talking to them, right? And but then I, but then when when we bring our friends or like you bring a girl or whatever, it's just like, hey, like, like you make sure she, you're with her the whole time. Yes. And like you introduce her and like invite her to conversations. And you're losing out on this wingman. Dang. Whoa. Uh, I I, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I can't even argue, right? Hey, now It's okay. We're fixing you right now. No, no, no. In my head, right? I'm expecting, as once I say, like, oh, this is my boy. I love him. No, your like, friends are not like, like that. I promise you they're not like he that. He says, this is my friend. I love him. But Peace. Then, like <laughs> as, like I said, it's a loud ass club. I can't be like, this is Wu Talk. He runs three, four businesses. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. That's not like that. It's not like we. How do we do it then? What he said is exactly how it is. That's why if I'm the person like that got the table, right? I always make sure that happens. It's just matchmaking. You got If I know everyone at the table, I and create a conversation of three people so that they are talking and then I can leave and do it. Do Make that them again. comfortable first before yeah, you leave. The way them. you have fun is everyone at the table is having fun with each other. If there's people, even groups mm-hmm. of people that just are not speaking or interacting, then it makes it clicky and lame. And it's not like your table, but regardless, if I'm your atta- if I'm your plus one to an invite, like if that happened that happens to me and Eddie all the time where he's just coming with me somewhere. I would never leave his side. Whatever, whoever I talk to, Eddie's talking to them. And I'm making sure Eddie looks like the most interesting man in the world so that they want to talk to him more. You know what I'm saying? I don't leave, y'all. You leave? No, <laughs> no. okay, okay. That's a blatant where, lie. Where, where, when? Anytime we've been to hide, left. Like, I'm talking, I spent majority, let's say 50% minimum of the night with this guy nowhere in sight. The goal, I mean, I mean, yeah. where I go with you to hide? Just us. There was one time that Esther came with us. The three of us went to hide. Yeah, yeah that's why I left you. No, no. Yeah, and then it's just me Esther. and Esther. And I'm like sitting there like, well. No, it wasn't I, that, even me and is, you. I was out there eating churros. Yeah, yeah. She was like eating. And then I was like, well, I want to be in there. But this guy's MIA. Like, I think it's also, uh, I think that the way to go to a club with it is you got to have hopefully like a safety buddy with you. Because yeah, he's yeah, going to yeah. dip. <laughs> You need like a, you yeah. need like a, never go to the club. No, no, alone. I just will never go to the club with it alone. Yeah, no, that makes sense. To, He's a really good addition. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. fun. He's, he's a vibes guy. Yeah, for exactly. sure. Exactly. He's a good plus yeah. to a group of seven. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so they're a group of seven. Look, but he's I, not a good survival partner. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be, I, want, I wouldn't want to be the last person on earth with you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not in there surviving. I'm in there thriving. Alone. Yeah. That's the issue. While you, while you completely you forgot about me. me. While your man's is you starving. You me. Sometimes I am. This, this was where I realized this man is an L wingman. Because he'll be talking to two women 
and not introducing me to either that's one so while I stand. That's not true. That's yes, not true. I can no. remember the exact scenario because I was standing there like, damn, this motherfucker really not gonna introduce me. But do you introduce yourself? So now yourself? this is this is. This is the dilemma then, right? Either now I interrupt the conversation he's having with two girls <laughs> to be like, hey, I'm Wuta. That's hello. awkward. Hello. I'll, I'll, that. I'll never do that. I or walk away. Vince shoulder like, hello. Yeah. So hey. like, my choice is now walk away or int- force introduce myself because I'm talking, I'm waiting for five minutes no, while he I talks know to exactly both of them. How you feel. He's literally like this. He has arms over both, talking to their ears back and forth. Right? Yeah. I visualize this. And, I and see I'm literally movie. there like, bro, this guy is not serious. That is so true. You know what? The first thing you do if you're, ta- let's just say you run into someone at the club or whatever uh-huh. that you know and you have a friend, the first thing you're supposed to do is like, oh, what's up? Hug them and be like, oh, this is my friend. Immediately. That's what I do. No, he doesn't. Apparently you don't. I don't, he doesn't. I don't remember this, but I bet. It happens multiple times. I bet there was a good oh. reason. No, there was no good the reason. The girls were probably not trying to fuck, so I was like, what's the point of introducing Wu <laughs> Tao? Greg, God, I don't need to hold to fuck. I just wanted to talk to anyone at that club. I'm no. swayed. He's Whoa. right. <laughs> well, but now you know that. But yeah, that is awkward. That's now, really awkward. It's so awkward. It and it happens consistently. Now I want to go through like social anxiety training and go to the club with it alone. Hey, we're going like, to the club tonight. You should come. No, alone. But I also, want to go alone I feel with like, it. I feel like... You guys have to catch me at a good time. No, man. <laughs> You're not making a good case. <laughs> Once I get drunk, my goldfish brain is like, oh, that girl's pretty. I'm going to go talk to her. I'm going to shoot my shit. And I go in the field alone. Exactly. Yeah. So I forget. But I was raised alone. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just see Vin like rubbing blood on his arm, going in like he's just go- <laughs> gone. This is fucking numb, and I'm trying to take this shit over. <laughs> he is, he is very good at shooting alone in the field, though. No, I'll yeah. say. So if there was an award for like solo kill player Actually, or hey, some shit, I think I, I do, I do remember an instance. But I'll never leave you. Like I'll be, I'll be, I'll come up to his <laughs> ear and I'll be like, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go like. No, no, no yeah, no, he'll be. But it's like. Yeah, but you gonna I, bring me here alone and leave me? Yeah, you're like I don't even. None of these people even know my name. You introduce me so casually that these people don't even know who I am yet. Who talks going over to the bar and being like <laughs> leaning over like, so you come come here often <laughs> <laughs> to random motherfuckers? Bro, like, just, I've never been awkward in my life, but the way he drops me on these situations makes like the most awkward I've ever felt is being out with Vit because like Dang. it almost puts me in a worse situation than just being at that club alone, like low key. He like, literally just a mom that dropped you off. Yeah, it, it's worse. Of, it's worse. You know what wrong. I think it is? I think it's when I leave, what the fuck bug? When I leave, <laughs> I expect, because what I do if I'm alone is I'll <laughs> stand there awkwardly. But then, <laughs> but then, Did you like that? But then, <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Exactly. <laughs> it just comes with the game. And then once a song comes on that I know this is my plan, I'll start dancing a little bit, singing. Not dancing, but I'll start singing. And then that's when I, you know, you know the club thing where you like kind of make eye contact for like a second and then you like laugh and like, ha. Yeah. That's why, well, that's what I'm expecting to happen, not just standing. <laughs> so he's basically, he's so expecting me to organically create my own relationships when he could have easily just created them for, for me himself. Oh, that's funny. Oh, my and, bad. And, yeah. and sometimes he'll even entice me, be like, yo, this person's there. I want you to meet him. Like, there's hella bitches, like all these things, right? Yeah. And then I go and he doesn't introduce me to any of these these things that he promised. You know Utah's what? That's like, hello, everybody. I'm Vince Howdy. Friend. That reminds I'm me Vince of my friend. of that like, one sure friend I told you that was like, <sighs> that I'm not friends with anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to always be like, let's go to the club. We would go to like, like club, clubs with like really rich men. And she'd just leave me there, go to, go like, do other things with another man uh-huh. and I'm just like oh, but that's why'd you I'm like why'd it's you bring me here it's, I, it is similar but it's different because you're yeah. a girl so people will be constantly approaching you and, and they're used to girls being on the table just drinking the alcohol because you're a girl that's true it's a little different for men yeah. and women so for yeah. me I, even like I'm like sober and I'm like damn I can't even get drunk because like this guy's gonna look I'm a random ass dude that pulled up on your table. And they're always like, why is that guy holding the bottle? Yeah, like like if somebody, if if like, let's say like I invited like somebody like not Vit, right? But I have a table that I Mm -hmm. bought, I bought the bottle or we bought the bottle and then some dude brings his boy and I'm like, yeah, your boy can come because you're, because I like you. But then that guy leaves and his boy's sitting there sipping the bottle. I'd be like, bro, yeah, put like, that shit down. Like, ask yeah, me for yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Unless you're going to buy a bottle. Yeah, like, unless you're throwing in. Yeah. Like, yeah, Makes put sense. that shit Makes down. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I don't go to the club. <clears throat> yeah, that's why, buddy yeah, boy. Avoid all these situations altogether. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see Jeremy when he was like 25. 
feel like he looked and acted exactly the same. I saw a picture exact of him. Same. Exact same. What's your what's your haircut? You had buzz cut back then. Um. Yeah. But no, I didn't have a buzz cut. I don't even remember. No, I just had the typical Asian like fade and then comb over. Oh, uh, yeah. you got a picture? Yeah. Let me see that <laughs> shit. Uh, Rita, read us the next questions, Miss Miss Estorito. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> okay men's body counts don't matter their rejection rate matters <laughs> tell us about that we talk wait well why me no i'm kidding i wrote that one wrote anyways that? i saw this tiktok <laughs> saw this tiktok that it was like with men you can't look at their body count you got to look at rejection rate mm -hmm. and before everyone's like oh that's a double standard boo boo hear me out also it was a woman that made this tiktok sadia psychology but she um, she basically explained it as like if you're just looking for like a low body count in a man. Right. Like a, let's say a dude has two bodies and this other guy has 50. Right. But the guy that has two bodies, those might have been the only two girls that were willing to sleep with him. And so he has a 100 percent say yes to sex rate mm -hmm. versus the man with 50 bodies could be somebody who's turning down 150 women for every 50 he sleeps with. Mm -hmm. So that man is selective. That man is only picking 25% of his options that he's sleeping with versus the other guys picking 100%. So I think this goes into, I've, I've seen a clip of you being like, you can't, tra <laughs> what was the thing about ugly men? I said, I said that ugly, like girls will get with ugly men because uh -huh. they're like, oh, um, this man won't cheat on me because I'm better looking. But it's just like, because he can't do he, better. Yeah, I'm like, he can't do better, you know? So if, a, if another girl that's even like, you know, She's usually not even as attractive as yeah, exactly, as his girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's if anyone throws themselves at this ugly man, he'll take it. <laughs> yeah, because hey, hey, like, he's not used to getting approached. Yeah, he's or not, he's not used to having he's not options. Rejecting, yeah, exactly. Have you have you heard of the saying? You give an ugly man an inch, he'll take any pussy he can get. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard it because I just came up with it. Oh yeah, I was just about to say I don't need. I, I don't even know what that means. I'm thinking of the of the dude that uh, left his wife for Ariana Grande. The minute like oh, yeah. he had a ten approach him, he's like, or like in looks, like a attractive woman yeah, yeah. approach him, he's like, I'm out. That's like, also Ariana Grande, though. Hey, no Grande, respect though. him, dude. Yeah, you know but what that man doesn't stand on business at no, all. I agree. I, he I was guys, SpongeBob he's SquarePants. A, he's a slime uh, ball for that. But exactly yeah. my slime point ball. is that you may you may like see a man with like a high body count, and be like, oh shame, shame. But how many girls is he turning down? Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good okay. defense, we talk. And, good, good defense. But at a certain point, it's like you just said your example. He turned down 150 women and slept with 50. It's like, okay. Right, what if he turned point, down 1,000 and sleep with 100? The no, fuck? But I'm saying that What if he turned down 300K? What? And slept with 3,000? 3,000 is crazy. No, but I'm just saying, like, at a certain point, what number is the, then just, is just the body count high, right? It's like too if much. You're, if you're, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Exactly. Like, it's just, like, it's just not even, like, I wouldn't say that he's necessarily, and I'm like, not a, say, I'm a not, wholesome moral man. I agree. He's just, like... I'm still saying... I'm not saying that it doesn't matter at all. And we're talking about egregious levels right now. Like, obviously, Leonardo DiCaprio. Who the fuck is bagging... You know what I'm saying? For the average person, let's say 50 is an achievable... High body count for a dude, right? 50? Yours is, <laughs> yours is above 50? No, no. I was talking hypothetically oh, for the okay. general. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so then in that case, why are you saying we could all achieve it? Bro, I knew people in college that in one year had 50. It's true. I, yeah. I know. But you know what? This is what we said about Vit last, like, a while yeah, back. Yeah. We were like, yeah, he's his body count is low compared to how many girls are throwing themselves exactly at Exactly my point, okay. right? Okay. So you're a good, you're so a nice we guy. Shocked. Yeah, one's, so we were shocked when he would be like, oh, I'm 20, like, I, my yeah, body yeah. count is 25. We're like, oh, that's surprisingly low. That's what for, I'm saying. Yeah. Mine's so low because I have a crippling fear my dick won't work. Okay. <laughs> 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 We try to throw him a bone. He just, he just starts. <laughs> After roasting him for the wingman thing, it's like, here, have this one. He's like, nope. <laughs> uh, wait, he didn't even get an award. He didn't get no, no uh, player of the year He's just a grumpy veteran on the bench. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, he doesn't give a fuck anymore. I I mean, he's I like a Kelly Oubre player. I don't want to play anymore. Where he's like, not, <laughs> he's not putting play. up numbers to his full potential, but he's hot <laughs> and popular. So he's like way more famous than his skill level would. Uh, no, I'll take it. Yeah. 
Um, but I, I understand. I was just playing devil's advocate, but I understand the concept. I think, I think that I think regardless, there's a number that's just plainly too high, right? Mm-hmm. It's like okay, you should still, even if it's like on a low acceptance rate. What's that rate, number for you? Probably like late hundreds, like almost a thousand range. Okay. <laughs> what okay. in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, who, uh, who was the the craziest body count like that they publicly talked about? It was like. Will Chamberlain was one, Ew. and then and then the guy from Kiss. I thought like one of those rock star guys was. Nuts. All of these rappers and ba- basketball players are fucking like mid like four hundreds, five hundreds. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of gross. Yeah. Kind of crazy that there's seven billion people in the world. Okay, I have a question. So, so five hundred is theoretically. It's nothing. a lot. Wait, what? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. No, <laughs> five hundred is a lot. Five hundred is too much, guys. Okay, would you guys be surprised if Drake has only his body count was three hundred? Would you be surprised? I'd be surprised if it's that low, yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'd be surprised as well. Oh, okay. Well, what do you think Drake, it would be? Drake. 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 He's, a, he's a conundrum, because I feel like he could say his shit is like a million, and I wouldn't be surprised. He could say his shit is like two, and I still wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh. actually funny. I get that. Okay, no, not mm. two. Maybe 200, and I would... Uh, 200 okay. is probably the minimum, I would think. Okay. Just from like what I hear about like the people that go to his parties. Some parts of him is so corny. Yeah. Like He's not like... Nah, but it's like funny Courtney. He knows yeah. how to play into his Courtney traits. I, I think he's funny. I think he's funny. Is the world <laughs> split? Is hey, the through the billion? through the transitive? What's it called? Tra- transitive property. Transitive po- property. I've kissed Drake. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, I've kissed a lot of famous people too. Which though. guy did you kiss? <laughs> I kissed Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Wait, what are you? What are you? What are you talking about? You what kissed Snoop Dogg on the wiener. <laughs> 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 What is this transit? So trans- if a girl kisses somebody and then we kiss the girl, that means oh. we kiss the guy too. It's like yeah. Eskimo kissing. Yeah. Yeah. Could also just be Eskimo bros, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. What, what were you saying though? Um, oh, six billion people on earth. Is it naturally 50% women? Is it close? Is it like 47% I women? I think 50 it's 50 close. To that's that's weird how like nature just kind of naturally does that. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's nature and China, isn't it? <laughs> China's like manipulating. No, wait, you don't get the the CCP joke. The one child lost. Yeah, when it was oh, only like everyone God. only wanted a boy too. True, like, true. Okay, I get it. Uh, so during that time frame, it was like heavy dudes. Yeah, isn't it backfiring on them heavily? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Speaking of forehead kisses. What did we speak about? Yeah, we, we literally <laughs> never once spoke about forehead kissing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm just going to go straight on it. Can All right. How about, how about how uh, here? Okay. So through uh, talking about kissing like Drake and Snoop Dogg and shit, <laughs> talking about kisses. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we move on for that, then by the transit of properly, is that the most famous person you've kissed? Snoop Dogg? Uh, I think The weekend would be then. What uh, did you, what, what, who, who's you? <laughs> I don't know, probably Drake. Yeah, Dr- Drake is like the most famous person in the world. So. Do I have a LeBron. I, t- <laughs> I tasted Drake on her lips. <laughs> he, said, he said, I can taste the Andalini. <laughs> <laughs> on the weenie. I can taste his tears on her lips. <laughs> All right, y'all. Speaking of kissing, yeah. are forehead kisses manipulative? And are they more intimate than sex? No, that's a crazy fucking statement. Uh, well, I didn't write this, so don't. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's something. It's a conversation we were having with the the girls in the room for the. Ian. What the fuck? Spaz out there, going Why do you yell? Because they can't hear. Yeah, they can't. Ian's phone went off. I was just joking around. <laughs> So what was the context of the conversation? Oh yeah, so so we're we're uh, we're like in the we're waiting like while everyone's taking their turns filming the mukbang scene, right? And the co- topic of conversation was that forehead kisses are. Ma- I'm gonna say that again because guys just walked across the camera. The, the topic of conversation was forehead kisses are manipulative because um, it's too intimate. And uh, and then they were all saying that it's like they'll fuck somebody, but they'll never let them kiss their forehead. So uh, I, it was like, whoa. So we all think, and not even just like the OF and porn star girls, like other people were agreeing that forehead kisses are more intimate than sex. I, 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 I understand that. because how? Because, okay, you, you know how- You literally are letting somebody inside of you versus no, 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 smooching no, no. their forehead. Yes, but then the thing is, it's like fucking someone is just a dog could do that, right? But then kissing somebody where 
What? Let me. Can I cook? No. <laughs> you mean a, like don't a, let her cook anymore. Wrong ingredients. You mean a dog? Yeah. <laughs> you mean a dog? Take a like cooking a, lesson. A man no, that's a, a slut. A man that's a slut. Oh. Literally. Oh. What? Fuck. You said. No, like, like any, like, if you're a dog, you fuck. You know what I'm saying? But then, caring about someone genuinely, you're not gonna, like, you know, like, you're not gonna tuck someone in bed or, like, make them Every food. hook, I've, I, but, like, it's, if I'm gonna hook up with someone, I'm still gonna, like, treat them. Like, if kiss. I'm going to get to the point of hooking up with somebody, I'm going to treat them, like, intimately, you know? You're going to kiss them on the forehead? Yeah, I'm not going to just fuck them like a slut and leave. Yeah. I'm going to do that, then That's kiss them you... on the forehead. <laughs> yeah. Wait. He's like, leave. <laughs> now Wait, do you, you leave. Do you agree with it's him? It's like, it's like, Mwah, good hey. game. <laughs> and then you send her off. No, I think that there's certain things that can give off more intimacy than just sex. Get, just sex is a crazy... People are real, like... Okay, that's what I mean. That's my argument. Have you had this. a one night stand before? Yeah, man. And that's you, what, that's you how I know. Have, have you just kissed a random girl on the forehead? And yeah. That's it? yeah. Yeah. I go to the club, I hand that shit out. No, I'm Wait, you know what? It is manipulative. It's actually. manipulative. It yes. It is. Because it is like intimate. Because yeah. girls, no, girls like that and they mm -hmm. feel safe when a guy does that. So if a guy knows that and <laughs> yeah. is doing that to a girl, then that's literally making the girl like a little. Okay. She is I can flustered. agree with manipulative, not with more intimate than sex. You you are literally exchanging oh. soul ties Was with a, a human being. It is fucking. That's what. I, that's my point. Is that we have oh, okay. we have lowered the value of sex to the floor to mm. think that an outer body kiss that yes is an intimate kissing position is more intimate than legitimately being inside of or letting somebody inside of you. Wow. I think they're saying it's more pure words. is yeah, what bars. they're saying. Good words. I think they're saying it's more pure. So like having sex is just like having sex. It's, it's not it just is. having sex. Sex should be more pure than a forehead Yeah, yeah, kiss. it should, it should, it should. But I'm just saying, yeah, now it's sex is just so easy. You know, like that's the craziest. You worded that very well. It's become such a commonplace norm, thing yeah. that somebody thinks a cute little thing like a forehead kiss is more intimate because they don't even get that anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You you can you can have like literally like spitting in their mouth type of sex Holy with shit. somebody slapping them and choking them, but then kissing them on their forehead. I draw the line there. Like what? <laughs> Like you just let this person like legitimately disrespect you while being inside of you and then them kissing you on your forehead. Literally too... almost make a human inside you. Yeah, it's the act you just like, you know, uh, engaged in could have created a life. That's how powerful it is. I mean, it's kind of simi similar as like when, you know, they have sex and they're getting butt ass naked and they feel that that is more comfortable than talking about their feelings. Yeah. That is... That is a that is a problem. It's a reflection it's a on our current society, and it's uh, and it's dark and sad. Wait, so what did they? Did you give them that argument? Yeah, or? I was just like, you guys are. I didn't really like go deep into it, but it was like a what? <laughs> like, yeah. But it was like not just like it wasn't just like the the girls like a lot. That was actually the general consensus that most people had in that room. Whoa. But and and that, and it's just a reflection of society right but now. I see, and we I see where they're coming from. And we want to take this moment to push our new slogan and our movement, the Respect Your Willy movement. Yes. It, men, it starts with us because, yeah, we haven't been slut shamed in, in, uh, historically, but That's true. you can be a slut and it is bad for you. The more bodies you have as a man, the worse you are. What? No. <laughs> Just remember. You have no worth. Just don't say yes to, uh, like, the yes. issue with men is that- Why do you have so many bodies? Start OnlyFans. <laughs> Fucking hole. <laughs> He's like, if you're not making money off your bodies, you're just a useless broke slut. No, uh, I'm just. But realistically, it's time for men to start saying no to sex. Like most men, I feel like say yes to any. Most men, most men I know, say yes to just whatever sexual opportunity comes their way, and that's what creates cheaters. Mm. Is they're too used to saying yes to everything. Mm. So yeah. Anyways, respect your willy. Hashtag gonna, respect your willy. Uh, push other things. Like Super Banzai. So um, we've just launched on Amazon maybe about a month ago now. And it's been ripping with over 500 plus sold, which puts us in like the top percentage of hangover pills on Amazon. So thank you to everyone, especially if you've bought on Amazon. We're also pushing TikTok shop. So if you need to re-up buying on one of those two platforms and leaving a review, you have no idea how much that helps us. Like, it helps us tremendously. Leave the review. So please leave a review. Unless you're like, fuck this guy, then don't leave that review. But <laughs> if you're going to leave a five star, leave that review. 
Um, and yeah, I mean, we've been ripping. It's been it's been great to see. We put in a lot of work, and it absolutely does work. We have more than enough reviews for you to sift through now. So if you're still skeptical, I suggest you go because nobody wants to wake up and waste their whole day the morning after drinking. So. Super recovery. Gra- also, the holidays are coming up. Grab a bottle, test it on your friends yes. and family. Oh, actually, yes. currently, right now, currently, right now, we'll be do- we'll be having a stocking stuffer sale. Oh. So that is buy three bottles, get one completely free, plus free shipping. So that is so cute. Yeah, it is a good holiday gift. It's a very Super cute gift. gift. It's you know, it's not unaffordable. So it's the type of gift that you buy like a- in bulk and you can hand out to like a bunch of friends because mm-hmm. like you can't be you know you can't afford a Rolex or a BB Simon Bell for every one of your friends, right? So. Just throw them a little fucking, you know, save their mornings. Yeah. This is something that could potentially change your friends' lives for less than 40 bucks. They'll less than $2 a serving. I love the the reaction yeah. when I give it to people and they call me the next day and they go, yo, I'm not hungover. You're like, they're like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, because I'll it's go. so hard for people to believe that it'll work. But the yeah. science is there now. And like these ingredients have existed and been used for thousands of years. Mm-hmm. And it's completely natural. Not to mention, it's not like liquid IV where there's sugar or anything. It's completely healthy for you. Yeah. And you can take it when you're sick too, which I did. You got. You guys make me so proud. God, let's go. He split me at twenty. Because the best so, way. What are you talking about? Uh, I did. I did this. Oh, I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, hey! But five hundred orders. <laughs> uh, and for us, as you can see on the table, look at this packaging. Wow. This is beautiful. It this is was hand drawn, literally hand drawn by Brando. And if you really look at the details of this box up close, which you can only do if you go inside of a store and you get one, you'll just see the amount of time that he put into this beautiful thing. How but crazy he hand drew every little hand drew it's every so including the mountains. He drew the logos. He wrote out the text. The text maybe he he didn't do, but everything else is literally hand drawn by him, including the nectar logo. So go out and get it. It's four new flavors. Well, every flavor has been voted in by you guys since the inception of the company. Passion fruit orange guava, mango melon, leaking pineapple, and the newest one, green grape. So we now packaged it in one beautiful package called the Paradise Pack. It is currently only available. By now, we would have launched Ralph's. We're doing a trial month with them. So if you go to the Ralph's on our pages, go buy it. That helps a ton. And if we do well, they'll put us in 100 more stores. Texas, this is coming to you probably top of the year. And then um, we'll probably drop. No. Yeah, top of the year, we're going to drop it everywhere. And we're going to do parties behind this. Parties, so, parties, if parties. If you want to know when we're dropping the next party, you must join the Nectar phone number. Pop it on the screen. It's in the description, and you guys will get first access to tickets. Yeah. So this we're filming this way before even the LA or San Diego, mm-hmm. but you'll see this. It'll be posted after those parties happen. So if you came, comment down below how the parties were, and uh, and I believe we'll be in the Bay in January. The the other thing too is uh, go. We we're gonna put a bunch of. There is a bunch of uncut content from the parties, things like that, on the bonus content platform. So go sub- subscribe. And because we always forget, and I just remember for the first time, at this point, like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helps the time. Hey, if you get this video to 5,000 likes, I will, we're, we'll all do the next one shirtless, minus Esther. Yeah, I mean, I'm down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Supporting the products really supports the show. Anybody Shabbat. who's actually listened through these ads and then goes and get, gets the product, like you deserve. You deserve everything. Sloppy toppy. Sloppy to- You deserve real love. Hey, can I just ride toppy. your coattails and use those flavors flavors for my vape company? Absolutely. Yes. Nice. Oh, I was thought you were going to say absolutely company. not. No, absolutely. I'm so down for Vitz Vapes. He'd make zillions. Zillions. Yeah, just sounds sarcastic. No, I'm dead serious. I'm like, that just Man, fits your brand. Let's, nice. Yeah, let's pick something healthier, guys. Healthy vapes. No, no, no. I don't want to tarnish my reputation like that. Oh. No. <laughs> Healthy the vapes. The most toxic the vapes. Christian vapes. <laughs> <laughs> it's holy water that as you're using to vape the fucking shit. Hey, that's super exciting, though. It's going to be at Ralph's. If the drops went well, which we'll know. Yeah. Future, we'll see. We'll push it. Next question, madam. Okay. Oh, someone said LinkedIn is the best dating app. Why? No, is why is why are more people using LinkedIn to go on dates? Because it's super professional and stuffy on there and people are just on there to flex what they're doing in their business or career, not to go on dates. Do you think that it would be Okay, here's my reasoning. Mm-hmm. My thinking of why it's the best dating app because number 1 if you're looking for a certain type of what do you 
It's the only dating app I'm not banned on. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the even ma- on it though. Imagine he a bit have on a LinkedIn. LinkedIn though. He's like his profile picture it's is two little like fingers, this. Like, smoking a cigarette like this. <laughs> oh but God. listen, everything that people want on a dating app is revealed on LinkedIn. You're you're gonna see somebody's job, right? So now you know what their kind of median income is. So you know if they actually make money, right? You can see all their mutuals of like people that respect them or like, you know, in the professional world, their career. So you can almost kind of guess what they're like outside of this facade that's a dating app. It's their most professional real version. And it, and, and it also shows off their money. And if you're a good enough mm. looking person, if you're a good enough looking person, nobody is going to be like, oh, I'm upset that uh, somebody reached out to me on LinkedIn. I think it's far it's inferior clever. to Instagram, though. Wait, this is risk risky though. So this Why? person's gonna know, like, if you let's just say you're the guy that was sliding on another girl, then the girl's like, oh, this guy works here and he's being creepy. What if she wants to oh, say some that's shit? That's a good reason. You know what I mean? Then don't that's be creepy. Literally, that's literally ruining. Like, you could get your reputation ruined like yep. that. <laughs> LinkedIn you don't have to. Be, yeah, yep. exactly. You don't even have to be creepy, but the. But but the it thing is, you're anything. sliding. Yeah, yeah just any form sliding. of sliding on a woman yeah. in a professional setting yeah. is kind of. Hey, you're that. You're the fucking creepy executive that hits on the interns no, at, at no, work. No, 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 no. What you do is you you just send them a little picture message with a fedora. Hey, <laughs> hey, just here to be a nice guy. Hey, m'lady. Oh my god. Can I open this e door for you? <laughs> I feel queasy. Yeah, you just got to be ultra polite. Have you guys ever, well, you haven't, I don't think you have, right? What? Worked in corporate setting? Yeah, I have. You have? Corporate? Yes. Yes. What corporate setting have you worked in? Fucking AT&T. (laughs) <laughs> I like the, the cell phone store. Yeah. That's not corporate setting, man. I had to wear a suit every day. Work, you in retail, I used retail, to work man. for a, a meal prep company. With who? Where? Who? Yeah. Why well, would have And at like the corporate yeah, headquarters? Like a store. It, was like a- it was, no, no, but they were huge in Australia. And they had one in LA, so I was working there. Huh. Um, That's like but- a cloud kitchen. <laughs> I just, That's like, like saying like you worked at McDonald's. Office building setting. Office building mean? setting. Anybody? Like cubicle like- type shit? Has anyone yes, worked in me. that? You okay? Yes. What about you? You know? No, I have not. Oh wow! So only you. Yeah. Why are why are you why are you being why, loud why, with me, huh? You? Would you ever get hit on like at work? Mm, no, because they knew that I was friends with the boss, uh. and so they didn't like mess with me. But did other people like workplace like harassment or romance? Did you ever see that pop no, off? No, I did not. Damn. Because I stayed in my cubicle. Yeah. I didn't work actually. I th- I think maybe back in the day people would have slid on LinkedIn, but because of the ability of cancel culture and yeah. the way you could blast somebody yep. on every platform imaginable, now everybody's scared. It's literally like the digital version of hitting on the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Like back in the Mad Men days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where like the secretaries and the interns are all just getting fucking harassed, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but also, yeah, it's not as good as Instagram because of that fact that everyone's buttoned up and polished and not being themselves on that shit. Mm-hmm. Like Instagram, it's like you like if you're an active Instagram user, yes, you're a little bit more like show offy as a you know, but it's like still like you're like posting or at least like the way that our like our media circle uses it. You post pictures of yourself. You try to write witty captions. Mm-hmm. You're posting stories of what you're doing all the time so people can comment on them. Like, there's just so many windows of opportunity to be hit on. And it's like almost like you're prepared to be hit on on Instagram. I, I want to know if anybody out there has started a relationship through LinkedIn. I promise you it'll be zero, not oh, one person. Not one person? Actually, Yelp. I've seen people hit on people on Yelp. Oh. How the fuck do you do that? Yeah, what the fuck? Let's go to you dinner know? at this spot that you rated five stars. <laughs> no, no, no. So you I... Respond to a review? I, I write, you know, sometimes I write reviews and then people would like my uh, review or they'll like comment or they want to be friends and they'll be like, oh, I liked your... Re-. They'll come, they'll like message and be like, I liked your review. Like, you know, and then they'll kind of ask you out in a way. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I, I'm just imagining like some thirsty ass guy underneath someone's review like damn your profile pic you look kind of hot I can't really see any other pictures but like let me get your number like underneath their five star review they're older though I feel like only older people will shamelessly use Yelp. fucking exactly. hit on shamelessly. someone on Yelp uh-huh, yep. uh-huh. that's like um I keep so funny. I keep getting the bot messages of like, "Hey baby, would you like <laughs> oh, a God, sugar daddy of 5000?" I'm like, it, "It can't even be a better bot message, uh-huh. bot message cuz you're calling me a her." <laughs> like, yeah, like you could at least get my gender. That offended right me cuz the same person that messaged you messaged me and I was like, "You know, I know you're scared." And they offered you me more money. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine the scammers offer you more money. Like, like you're seeing like a discrepancy in costs. Like, <laughs> would, would either of you two ever join a reality dating show? No. What if I? Uh, what if I told you that I entered you guys both? Did you actually? You'll just have to find out. I know. I would not. I would not do it. Why? You you would get so much clout. Yeah, but like I am so cur- currently so busy that a reality TV show is like going to jail for like a month. Yeah, yeah. that's good. No, my business would fail. I know, dude. That <laughs> my girl- co-founders would literally kill me. Like, <laughs> not if you're on the reality show being like super bonsai, super bonsai. Yeah, maybe it, it would depend on the level of how big that reality show is. Mm. Love Island. If it was I don't Love know Island, if I'd be ready yes. for that, to be honest. You would do Love Island? I would do Love Island, but that's it. I would start I would, blasting steroids. I would not. Yeah, I was about to say I would not do Love Island for that reason. I'm not yeah. I'm not jacked. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm ready to be on I'm not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready to be on Love Island. I just see both of them like just walking in. Yeah, it's, like, it's like the men enter the villa and it's like six yeah. foot six like, like Adonis's and then you see like Vin, like hunched over with bad posture. Hitting coughing. Vin, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he goes, he goes you know, he's, like, he's like, hey, man, you guys don't even have ramen here? This shit sucks. Hey, let me hit your vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, why don't you want me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know you know how uh, in his TikToks he does that like little kid cough where he doesn't cover his mouth at all? He's yeah. like, <laughs> iPad kid yeah, cough. literally fucking just in the middle of an interview, just like, yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Literally, man has I no filter. <laughs> You would join a, you would do Love Island? If of they course. You, you, yeah, you should if you get Did you do any reality show? Like what about those like influencer, like influencer house? No, fuck no. I don't see the point in that. Because you're forcing me to leave my crib, my, my <laughs> sanctuary, for what? It's for like clout. a whole summer sometimes. For clout. But it's not like guaranteed. So it'd have to be Dude, like a high level show. It would, the, the level of guaranteed clout or the clout I think in my head that I would gain would have to be enough to where I'm like, this is worth it. Yeah, you gotta take like a, a whole lot. summer away. Like, yeah. Yeah. I a feel lot like my whole of life is shows here, are like that though. Like a lot of shows I see, I finish the show and then I go on their Instagram and I'm like, holy shit. This person blew up. Yeah, you could tell yeah. because you see like their like, what like pictures from maybe a year ago, it had like a hundred likes. You see their pictures now and it's just like, holy fuck, they're getting like, like that hundred thousands to like millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, and That's you guys good. may be That's sitting there, it. and some of you in the audience may be sitting there and being like, oh, what a shallow desire, clout. With clout comes money. Yeah, so like, It's not, literally career, business. Like, it's it depends. A lot. If you're smart, you know how to Of course, it. if you're smart. But regardless, clout is a playing card in this world of business. And if you have clout, like you can, you can. I don't know if reality star clout is the best kind though. Like it's not the best. It's, a, it's one of the lower tier, yes. but you yeah. still, it's still better than no clout. And you would have to, and you would have to like uh, play a character, right? Like Absolutely. some some people play like the villain, so yeah. that they're just they just know that it's Damn. gonna go viral. Yeah, I don't uh, know if I could play the villain. Ex- exactly, it's like a weird. I, I would never do a reality show just because it's all forced. They're trying to to but paint also, you in a certain way. You guys are you guys are talking about dating reality shows. I would do other shit. Like, like, like drink masters, Physical fucking hit me up, yeah. you bitches! Oh, you're Wait. still you're still upset I'm still about mad. that. I thought you said Wait, you were over it. Wait, would you be down? Yeah, if they hit me Actually? up, hell yeah, I'm going on that bitch. Like, yeah, you guys snuffed me last year. I'm like, I'm not even on here to win. I'm like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> that would be so cool if you went on. I would love to. For you, do you think your mental health? If you had to be away for three three months, share a room, share a bed with be somebody, painted you don't really in a know, light, yeah, and also share that room with a bunch of other people, and you don't get to play your Xbox. You would oh, have yeah, to be. You would, you would have to be fake too. Yeah, love, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't love think, Island though. It's Love Island. If if, if Love Island, I, here's here's a scenario. It's a new season. All if guys. If it's Love Island, <laughs> first of all, I think one. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would slowly like start becoming a little bit insane in there, yeah. being away from everyone, being locked into like one single space. Yep. I don't like that shit. Two, I'm away. Like you said, I'm away from my Xbox. That's how I talk to my homies back in Iowa. Like we talk every single day. That's on another. Xbox? Yeah, that's so that that's why when Emily's like, I play my game all day. I'm bro. Most of the time, I'm just sitting there like doing other shit on my computer with the Xbox headset on, so I can talk to my homies back home. Dang. Uh, three. What I what I what I say already? I would probably yeah start going insane and. I might snap and that shit, whatever happens, It'll go happens. viral for a yeah. bad reason. Let's get him on Love Island. Yeah, let's get him <laughs> on, on there, baby. 
And in also, the meantime, we need to replace him with somebody on the uh, show. Also, like, imagine they're like, this guy ate ramen for a hundred <laughs> days straight, no other meals. Like, you guys watch the Korean reality shows like Singles Inferno? Yes, dude, yeah. they all like blew up. And that show they got, got super popular. They got so many brand deals. Like they work with Chanel, Dior, yeah, and all, all that stuff. All those people and became like, like real celebrities. Yes. Like, show? Singles Inferno. It's like a yes. Korean. Oh, I did hear about that. But the Basically girls are Korean pretty. The girls Island. are pretty. Oh, the so men hot. are supposedly oh. good looking too. They're hot too. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, the girls are fake. Okay. Say, say hello. They, like, you're, yeah, you're not the type they look for. Just say annyeong. Annyeong. I, I'm annyong. not the type annyong. they look for either, but annyong. there you go. We're not white enough. Huh? No, no, no. White it's enough. Korean. Like Korean, Korean. Yeah, you guys you guys are super colorist. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean pale enough. Yeah. Pale yeah. Enough. yeah, yeah. I, pale is one thing because, no, there's some like like bodybuilder types that are like kind of tan, I guess, but more so like no tattoos. No like, piercings. Like doctor that. model. No, like, they, both, you know, like, the guys had tattoos. Doctor model. But, oh yeah, Jin Young had tattoos. Yes, but yeah. you know the thing is, um, on that show, there's this one girl. She was pretty, but she was like darker shade. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of guys weren't into her because That's of that. Because so there's like, fucking there's crazy. like, yeah, you know how like Korean men, I think typically go for the pale, like big eyed, like yeah. skinny girl, you know. And yeah. so I think that's the reason why. But to me, because I'm more like Americanized, I was like, she's the prettiest one here. I agree. Nobody's, I agree. Nobody's picking her. Yeah. I was like shocked. There's that one guy, uh, Jin Young, I think, Dex, who got, yes. he's like the most famous one he's off the second season. He's now a celebrity. Yeah, he's a celebrity celebrity. Yeah, yeah. But I he's also funny though. He's hilarious. I started yeah, yeah. watching his YouTube videos. I'm like, this guy's, this guy was meant to be a star. He's an entertainer for And sure. he was like a fucking like Navy, uh, no, not Navy, he Korean like, military special forces mm -hmm, or some mm -hmm, shit too. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you guys all Korean forces? No, <laughs> not, not, not special <laughs> forces. They're all yeah. Korean military, but special forces is like, oh, you're a beast. It's, it's a different you know? level, yeah. Yeah, it's like you can really kill people. Yeah, and there's another show. It's called Love After Divorce. So it's like just a bunch of divorced people uh -huh. trying to find love again. <laughs> and that show is crazy. so good. That's crazy. That show is so good. Have y'all like watched it. Dating on the Spectrum? I was just about to bring that up. <laughs> you were spasming. Is it on Netflix? What? Netflix? Dating on know, the Spectrum? I don't know what it's on again. I, I don't know what it's on. Hey, we got to sign you up for that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Would you go on that one? Yeah. Uh -huh. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. The reason why I was spazzing is because I was thinking in my brain the whole time. I'm like, spazzing is ableist, by the way. Sorry. What would be a new? What would be a new? I just had to say sorry real quick. Can't get canceled if you say sorry. Oh, um, what would you that like? Works. They're always coming up with new reality shows every year, every season. Now yeah. it's like a hot thing, and I'm like, when they came out with dating on the spectrum, I was like, holy Bro, shit! That shit was so stupid. The clips are in, the clips I find on TikTok are just insane. I, 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 seen I don't, anything. I don't like it. Yeah. Let, me, let them be, man. Let me let me talk about uh, Jimmy. So Jimmy, Jimmy Zhang. You know how yeah. they all went to Colombia recently? So it's like Jimmy plus the minorities plus. Uh, Gabe and Eddie, right? And then the the content they shot apparently, like they rented this like Airbnb lake house, like a lake mansion basically, and it was like The Bachelor, but with like a bunch of Colombian girls and like these guys, and it was just like I'm like that's a genius fucking video concept because you're getting like it's like that's like a six episode series, you know what I'm saying? Wait, so what? They found girls to be in the show, yeah, yeah, and yeah. They pick a bachelor, Who's so they the bachelor? invited like a bunch of girls to the crib, and it's like basically a reality TV style of like everyone just living in the same house over a weekend and ah. like the selection process, seeing people like get to know each other. They do like literal things where it's like, give your rose to the guy that you want to pick. Like, mm. and it was like, whoa, with the right group of influence, like the influencers that all know each other. 
plus like it would have to be random girls like or like random in one way or the other so either a bunch of influencer girls random guys or like that sounds like a lot of work and a lot of money it's a lot of production value heavy lift but it's such a fire I'm excited to see it if they put it out it's also smart that they did international you're just tapping into a whole new audience (gasps) that's that's what I hope I want to go so bad somebody I agree we're working there don't worry I'm not word. Hey, for now we're gonna do mukbangs and shit. <laughs> soon it'll be yeah. like in Australia. I'm not Our time will come. What does what does I've DACA faith stand in us. for again? Deferred action for childhood arrival. Somebody commented and asked. So hopefully you listen to this part of the interview. <laughs> this one hour and forty minutes into this episode. <laughs> mm-hmm. How long we've we been filming? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I was so accurate. There's a couple. There's a couple good ones. No, I know, but I'm just saying. Did no one really hear that I guessed exactly almost the time mm. frame we were at? No, no cares. Don't, don't right? Ooh, Nobody wants to give me my fucking credit. Oh, okay, guys. I have a question because this happened to me. If someone was like, I want to take you to a restaurant, do you expect them to pay for it? Doesn't that sound like they're going to pay for it? It's, it's not a date. Not a date. Yeah, it's not it, a date. It still does sound like they pay, they're paying for it. And I know exactly what you mean because it happens to me all the time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like somebody With will girls? be like, oh, I want to take you here. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, does that mean you're literally like taking me out? Like you're treating me? A guy or a girl? Both scenarios. Oh, like, really? like girls flirting with me like, oh, I have to take you to this spot. It's so. But then we go and I'm like, um, regardless if it's my first time meeting you, I will pay. Like I won't even allow her to pay. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes when guys do it, right? <laughs> Mr. Nice Guy it's just in my blood. But um, sometimes when guys do it, it is still like a guy friend being like, bro, this restaurant's so good. I got to take you next time. Right? It's like. Yeah. Does that mean you're treating me? If I ever said those words, it's I'm treating you. I'm taking yeah, no, you to exactly. the spot. I agree. I would never say it. If it was the opposite, I would go. We should go. Yeah, let's go to this restaurant. But I'm taking people you. use that word. This is the thing. I, in LA, it happens a lot. It's like a social climbing thing. Wait, yeah. what about you first before I get into a long-winded explanation? Oh, go ahead. I agree. Okay. but Sean, because yeah. your answer is so boring. <laughs> Continue. I'll just, I'll just get behind the camera. <laughs> we'll save some money on a videographer at <laughs> That's least. That's the new thing. It's three of us all sat by the camera, <laughs> pointed at Esther. We all did that camera. <laughs> We're yelling at each other. Yeah. Fix your angle. <laughs> this is um, why I'm, I'm on the offense team. Yeah. Wait, what? What? That's got nothing to do with that. She learned um, in sports. <laughs> but I agree. I will never say those words unless I mean to pay. But a lot of Same. people in LA love to flex, like, let me take you. Like, you know, those words I feel like have power in them where it feels like I'm gonna put you on, I'm gonna show you out. Yeah. But then a lot of times you get into that scenario and they're not even expecting to pay. They're like, oh, you wanna split? Or like, the check yeah. just sits there for a minute. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Okay, no, no, you I say. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain the story after you oh say what you want. Oh my god, you, you guys are so cute. Huh? Oh my god, are you guys talking mentally? What? Yeah. No, but what I was saying is like, <laughs> Have you ever been in that situation when you're unsure and is it weird to go, are you paying or are we split? Because then I'm going to be like, depending on the spot, I can't afford that shit. I ain't going. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think it's with a guy. I don't think it's weird to respond and be like, you paying? It It depends how well you know them. If it's a guy, yeah. If if I'm a girl and I'm a... Uh, and and the guy said that I'm like I'm kind of gonna expect him to pay. That's you know what different. I mean? That's a date. Different. You know what I mean? But then when it's a girl, like a girlfriend, and she's just like, so this happened to me recently, right? Don't clip this, editors, okay? Because I know for a fact that no, if it's a clip, oh, see cl- it. okay, but it can be in the episode. Yes, it could okay, be in the good, episode, good, good, but good, good, don't good. clip it, as in like yeah, don't TikTok. put it on TikTok. Yeah. So basically, what happened was that she was she's she's visiting from a far away in country don't, don't give too many details okay, exactly. like that. That's no, no, no no I'm trying to say that she's not from LA so this is not an LA girl mm-hmm. you know and then so and she was just like hey like there's this place that I, I really really already. love here you know like like I gotta take you there you know and I'm just thinking okay like or she said I really wanna take you here so like that kinda sounds like I wanna treat you out mm-hmm. cause I love this place Yeah. Um. and so I was like okay and she was like can you pick me up and I was like sure I mean you're not from here so I'm gonna pick you up I pick her up we go there and then um, basically we just split the bill. And I'm just, I'm just like, first of all, I don't even like this fucking place. <laughs> I don't eat this type of shit. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And I'm just going here because you will not stop talking about Sounds it. Sounds like yeah. me on every first date. <laughs> so so the thing is, I wasn't... Pick me up, obviously split the I'm bill. Not, <laughs> like, it, 
I'm not angry about it, but I'm just like, if I wanted to pay for my own food, I would honestly have a say yeah. in what I want to eat. Yeah, yeah, I want to go there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I would not have gone here, but mm. you hyped it up so much, like, and and you said it like you want to take me there. You want to treat me. Treat me there, yeah. And the thing is, I was I pick her up all the time. I t I I. I take her back home, mm. and she's like, "I do a lot." But you said she's from a different country. Does that mean English is not her first language? Oh, sorry, not a different country. Different, different state. state. S -s -s hold on. Oh, she's from OC. No, 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 no. <laughs> she's from Silver Lake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said too much. Okay, All right, that's whatever. it. That's it. But yeah, like. Totally agree. It's weird. Yeah, you guys um, don't say that if you guys aren't yeah. treating someone out because it confuses people. And and that sounds hella entitled, but I just expect, like, I kind of had an expectation only because I did so much. Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe she's just trying to show me that she's, like, grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And that was it. Is this question related to that one? Hey, wait, wait. We should talk about, we got no. into a fight. Oh, yeah. I was we didn't even bring that up. Oh, oh yeah. That should have been the first forgot. thing we Holy talked about, actually. Yeah. But, uh... We'll figure that out in post. When yeah. I, I'm tired of talking to you editors through this camera, and then y'all leave hey. that shit in. What's up with your forehead? Yeah. So my, we, me and me and me and Vidi over here got into a fight over the weekend, and uh, it was it was. <laughs> it was honestly the dumbest. Describe reason. the it occasion. Was the, it was well, just like, such a he, dumb fucking fight. Where, where did it even start? All right. Yeah. So fucking we're. We're at Nick Rajeda's birthday party, which is just a villa, very expensive villa he rented out at Newport Beach that was full of all men and Maru. Like 18 men and, and honestly, then Maru. And honestly, Maru is a, is is a, a man. Yeah, is a bro at she this a point. Bro. Uh, she a bro. She's in she's, Korea. She was in Korea. Cynthia was in Korea. Esther asked where was Cynthia. Anyways, so this, the, you know, we hang out with, with our good friend Nick, and then at a certain point, a group of us were like, you know what? This is getting kind of boring. Let's go to the bars. So five of us go to the bars, me, Vit, Owen, Alex, Maru. And then we're going to the bars. The bars suck, because as the Newport Beach bars usually do. For, for, for people that don't have context, Newport Beach is like when you think of SoCal, surfer, beach bro, frat bro. It's like fratty, college town. Like There's, everyone's uh, trying to fight. There's yep. always drink deals. So it's like younger, like people trying to get as drunk as possible for on as little money as possible. There's also like Newport Beach is also closest. I is kind of close, right? No. no, 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 not close. Newport Beach is on the water, yeah. but it gets... It's very affluent, and then there's also not so affluent. So it just has a huge mixture of people. Yeah. What's affluent? Rich. Very, ri oh. very rich. There's parts of Newport Beach, like uh, yeah, Mercer. Yeah. Not Mercer Island. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, so anyways, we're fucking at this bar, Sharky's. As we're leaving, this dude is really aggressively arguing with his girlfriend. And basically, he had her phone, and she wanted the phone back, and he was just screaming at her. And in my mind, I'm like, that woman is cheating on you, brother, because she was not <laughs> she was not focused on anything else. But give me my phone back. And he was like screaming like at her, like like almost violently. So Owen decides to get involved and he's like, give her her phone back, blah, blah, blah. And the guy immediately is just like ready to fight Owen. Like uh, the second Owen said something, he was just ready to fight him. He's dropping the N word every two seconds. Not Owen, the other guy. The other guy. And he's like <laughs> pulling up his pants. Good, good distinction. The other guy pulling up his pants every fucking like five seconds. And he's a big man, by the way. He was like six feet plus, 250, like fucking, he was like bouncer build. And I'm like, Owen's going to get his ass beat. And then, so I'm like watching this. And Owen is fearless too. So he's like, Owen is one of those white boys that will get involved in anything and everything and just no regard for safety or anything. Are you guys like wasted at this he's point? He's wasted because he's been drinking all day. Yeah. I'm pretty sober. He's pretty sober. I'm pretty sober. Um, but then, so then Vic goes over there to try to get the other guy to calm down. He's like, yo, chill, chill, whatever, right? He, but so Vic's in between them. His girlfriend comes up, tries to calm him down. And the guy shoves his girlfriend, like fucking hard checks her. And after that, everyone's like angry now. Like now we're all pressing this guy. And in the midst of all that, he shoves Vit. And then he shoves Vit really hard. And that basically starts the fight. And then we just start fucking popping off on him. I'm fucking rot. We're all like just like we just the three of us, me, Owen, Vit just pop off on him. And then he hits the ground. And then Owen like basically gets on top of him. And he's like trying to hold him like i don't know he's like not choking him but like holding his head i don't know what the fuck yeah, yeah he was doing zero damage zero help <laughs> and then so i'm on top of the guy like this just bing 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 like fucking dinking him in his face just uh, like punching him and then he's trying to get up so then his like bottom half of the butt like his body like gets up knocks me over and i i'm like already off balance so i face plant the curb 
Like I eat the curb so hard, my face literally, my forehead bounces and I skid my face like that across the curb. And I was like low key, like I blacked out for a second. And then um, when I like stand back up, like I'm disoriented, I can feel the blood dropping down my face. Uh. And uh, and then I look over and the, the guy had gotten Vince being held by a random stranger. He's like being yeah, like, that was fucking stop. annoying, bro. And then Owen is now getting his ass beat because without other people to help him, this guy is literally twice his size. So he's now the guy who's and now tall, on top of Owen. Bro, Owen's tall. Owen's like six feet tall, but this guy's <laughs> bigger than him. And Owen's skinny, so like this guy, is, there was no chance. So this guy's now pounding the shit out of Owen, <laughs> and then um and then so now I come over and like with like my little brain power that was working, I just shove the guy off. And then, um, but then for some reason, basically Vit and Owen were still like tr- going after him and they get, they're like almost getting 2v1 low key, right? Cause like Vit like trips his before. No, 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 I don't trip. This is, this is also why I hate street fights. Cause most of the time, bro, they'll go immediately to tackling me. Yeah. That's so fucking annoying. So he tackles me, uh-huh. literally sweeps my legs up. I'm on the ground. And then he's like taking, he grabs no, my- No, no, that, that didn't happen yet. This is different. So, so we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. So but either <laughs> He was um, there too. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but he's missing. He's he 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 was he's missing a part of it. So after I shove him off, I watch this guy basically like Vitz on the floor. I forget how he got over there, but he punches Owen in the face. Oh, we're at this part. And then he's like tired, so like not much has happened. I'm like, guys, if we leave right now, well, this guy doesn't want to fight three people. I in that moment, this. when you say he punches him and he's tired, is he literally just kind of like at this point like stop? They're completely? like no, they're like trying to like grapple. You know, uh, like when you're like stalling in a fight because yeah. like if you were like bloodlusted you're fucking swinging right yeah. but the guy's just like p- rocks him in the face and then it's like a lulling period you know mm. yeah so then i'm like guys if we leave this guy doesn't want to fight three people and then like vitz standing up now owen is like nowhere to be seen to be honest but then he sees like everyone separated and the guy starts booking it towards vit like tackles him that's when the tackling happens. yeah, yeah he, you he, weren't I'm paying talk- attention at i all. was paying attention i no, would no, never ha- yeah but it's like oh. what are you gonna do the guy's four times his size dude, dude was Gigantic. Yeah. So but the guy also, literally. Why did you run? No, I'm oh, I'll never run. You can't run. You can't run. <laughs> I'll in never that run. I, I stopped his face and wound. I can't run after that. Yeah, yeah. So he he runs straight at Vit, grabs him, throws him on the floor, and then and I'm like, fuck, I gotta go start fighting again. <laughs> but then I see the guy grab Vit by his hair and just start bong bong into yeah. the floor. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm yeah, not gonna run. That was <laughs> extremely was expect- dirty and like violent. Because look, my hands are like this. I'm expect he's he's has he's on top of me. My, I immediately bring my hands up. I'm expecting him to throw a few punches. I just feel his hand grab my, my the back of my hair. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, like, that oh shit. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It was like on the side. Like, whatever. Oh. It's just, it's just, his head's being banged grabbed, into like, the floor. The top. He just banged my head into the into That's the cement. Crazy. Yeah, and once I seen that, I was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just run over there and just start fucking minking him in his face. And then so I, I just rocked him in his face like four times, and then he falls off of it, gets up, and then runs straight after Owen, because like Owen was now in the area, and then he sees Owen, and he goes straight after him gases out and Owen runs away. Owen straight up is like backing up like very quickly and then like the guy just gives up basically. And then uh, and I like help Vit up and I'm like, damn. And Vit's like in pain like mo- and like obviously there's adrenaline and the exhaustion. He I'm gives like, up yeah. and walks away? The guy just, yeah, the guy walked away. With the girl? No, dude, I don't, the, the girl is not having any of this. The guy, the guy just got fucking, he got beat the fuck up too. Like Vit stomped on his face. I punched him in his face like probably 10 times, like uh, really hard. I'm just imagining up. the very beginning of the story uh-huh. when you go, the girl is probably cheating on him. We have no idea what the context was of him yelling at her. Zero. Imagine, imagine if, if, if he like fucking, she gave him herpes and he's yeah. super upset and then we, we got involved and, and then, then he got and his then ass three guys just fucking jump him for no reason. He was like, oh, with My your girl gave <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I've been in enough situations. Like they have security there, bro. If he if he does anything, security will, will exactly. Handle it. So I personally, unless I physically see him like punching her, yeah, I tried not to get in the in the mm. in the way of As it. Right. Should. That's yeah. between them. I don't know if this dude has a gun or what. Like I try yeah. I try to leave that shit alone. But Owen decides to talk to him, and once I see Owen there, I'm like. I already know where this like yeah. no doubt in my mind no there's no chance both of them are just going to walk away. So when I hear I see them the whole time I'm trying to like calm them down. Mm-hmm. Really I'm just trying to search around to see if he has a gun or not. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm patting his back, I'm patting him t- on his sides. <laughs> if it's like you okay? <laughs> 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 no, I'm just hey, like, down, man. Yeah, on his back I'm like hey hey bro chill out chill out. I'm yeah. trying to pat different oh, areas. Smart man. Yeah, low key smart. Yeah. But also like it's just like I agree with that cuz it's like yeah the dude was like screaming at this girl but again we don't know what the situation is. Yeah. There's security there. 
security was useless, so they was watching us fight. But like, regardless, security was dead ass calling for a one on one. Yeah, I'm like one on one. Do you see this? Did, did he he weighs as much as all three of us. First of all, like this is a one on one. I saw him. He's pretty like. Yeah, big. you know what that's called though. Owen's behavior, white boy fun. White boy behavior. Yeah, black. And he, didn't, he didn't even get that hurt, like because he wasn't like swinging yeah. or. Everyone's gonna ready. tell the story later. They're like, "Yo, we were out in Newport. I was like seven Jaeger bombs nah, deep." Hey, and- you know the funniest part? <laughs> we were with one other dude, which and I I won't hold it against him because I know he's not a fighter. Yeah, he's all. not this type of guy, but... But the whole time us three are fighting, he's he's literally standing there watching, and then in the clip, I see him fixing his hair. <laughs> he's, like, duressed. He's, like, stressed. He's, like, yeah, yeah. fixing but, his but hair. Also, he's blocking the only shot of the fight that we are, that Maru got, and, like, he's standing literally right in the middle of it. And then I hear... I, uh, Nick told me uh-huh. when, they, when we went home and they went out, uh-huh. a group of girls went up to Alex, of all people, and they're like, we saw you guys fighting. We like we saw you fighting, <laughs> and they got they were on his dick about it. No, <laughs> what did I say? I busted up my face for that. You for Alex to get the validation. He collected the cloud points. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that I looked easily the worst, and I didn't get hit once. <laughs> And I looked like I had been put through a meat grinder. <laughs> Editor, oh. put put the picture up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? When I woke up. I was a good boy getting ready for church. <laughs> I see a text from Mutak sent at 4 a.m. I got up at 8, and it's just his face looks shredded. And what I had originally thought was Rug I was watching from the wrestling. Yeah, I was watching your guys' story. There's a story on Instagram, and it was at Nick's Villa, and it's everyone, it's all dudes shirtless and wrestling. Yeah, it was my story. I know, I know. But, dude, you know what that made me think? I'm like, that's the outcome when you don't invite girls to a party. Honestly, yeah. I don't know why it's he like, does what it every time. To do? yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like drunk testosterone. It's like now you got to go out and brawl. Like yeah, you gotta literally. Let it out there's way. no, there's no escape of like you gotta, you gotta compete in some way now because there's no yeah, girls in this party. I always miss these moments. But yeah, man, that shit was so dumb because I was standing there like, guys, why? The- oh, and what the fuck? Like I'm too old to be doing that shit. Did y'all talk to him? No, no. I haven't seen him since. But it's just like, dude. Why are you getting it? Because he got involved and it wasn't like a like a trying to be chivalrous. It was like a, he jumped and started disrespecting this guy right away. For sure, yeah. Because I he saw him laughing. Fight. I saw yeah. him like smiling and go like Whoa. scream laughing in his face. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, like he wanted to fight him. Yeah. And Loki, I, I will take a little when when he when Owen had already walked away, granted he was laughing on camera at him. I do remember like he pushed me and I pushed him back and then he pushed me hard. Cause I do remember in my drunken little little stupor, I was trying to break that shit up, of course. But towards the end, I was like, "Bro, don't fucking push me." I do remember doing that. Mm. I was like, "Bro, chill the fuck out." And then he pushed me, and then that's when it started. Oh, little. I was literally bit. just standing to the <laughs> side, like, "Man, we're gonna fight." Right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like just kind of rolling up your sleeves. No, like- not even. I was like, "Do I keep the rings on or not?" More damage. Yeah. Did it hurt me more or him more? Like you know, like. <laughs> but yeah, that shit was kind of annoying. It was very annoying. I had a con- I'm pretty sure I had a concussion. I may still have one. I'm healing though. Just yeah. scabs now. Well, <coughs> that's like a solid two hours. Oh, dude, and afterwards he was fucking uh like convulsing. Like I brought him back to the village. Oh yeah, yeah. And what do you mean? he was Happens saying every time I fight. Yeah, he was saying it's adrenaline, it's adrenaline, but I haven't seen anyone like go through adrenaline withdrawals really that bad. Every time I fight, and it's he was crazy. Like, it's shit waking like this. Yep. And we're like, holy fuck, do we take him to the hospital? I, would, I thought it would have been a concussion. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, it know, was. I knew it was. I know what a concussion feels like. Put him so, on his side. I mean, Make we sure just iced choke. his head. We waited a couple hours and then he calmed down. And that's he was bro, fine. the weird thing I've noticed throughout the years, the weird thing about my body is unless either I have to get beat the fuck up to the point I can't move or I have to beat the fuck out of them to the point where I can't feel my body. Otherwise, that happens. Like, I'll just start shaking. Jeez. So, that's why I, mm. like, yeah, it's weird. Just, but I will say, this guy was a tank. He low-key, like, you know, in many situations, like, he was, he was, he was. Bro, imagine fighting, want him, like, we, an You orc. want him on your team next yeah. time. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. That, I want that guy on that my has, side. He reminded me of fighting, like, an orc. It was like a boss he just battle. Big, <laughs> yeah, stum- exactly. like, he wasn't fast, stumbling, just pure power, just. Yeah. Eating punches, yeah. throwing them back. Loki, there was a scene in the video where Vit is punching his ribs, and I'm like, that's not doing no- nothing to this guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. he has like no, layers. I- Bro, I had his head, and then the. Re- also, another thing I hate. Don't try to fucking bro. What if you hold me and then he gets back up? He starts beating my ass. Yeah, it was yeah. the dumbest fucking Stupid thing fucking you could have. Yeah, whatever fucking bystander. Did that. Person? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, random person. Yeah, some random. But that's exactly what happened because he was holding Vit. The guy got free from Owen and started beating Owen's ass. Uh. And the guy, the guy also, he was going mad slow in the video too. He was like, "Guys, what are you doing?" Like, yeah. grabbed one guy, just like 
Shit was yeah. fucking annoying, bro. Stupid. Damn. But yeah. Felt good to use my fist for 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 justice Show to defend pink- women. Show your pinky. This is what my pinky looks like. Ew. And I'm telling him, go put it on his splint. And I'm he gonna refuses. have to put it on his splint. It looks a lot better. It used to look, it was super super swollen and it fucking don't bruised. Look any good? Bro, <laughs> that looks disgusting. Yeah, what the fuck? Well, my face healed really fast. It's yeah. only it been, did. It's been less than a week. Yeah. yeah. Do you take like vitamin E? No. Takes my vitamin D. <laughs> we yeah. don't like. We don't condone fighting, guys. Don't fight, but. What I will say is I like I hate like I'm way past the point of fighting, but I can't like watch my friends get their ass beat just because I don't want to fight. So. Yeah. As as a male too, yeah. I'm sorry, Alex, whoever you are, you just got to try to do something. Grab his ankles, like you should. Or do or something. at least like the guy that was um, stopping stopping Vit, like you should have grabbed his ass off of him. Exactly. Yeah. Why? Yeah, bro, he grabbed me. I got him off. Just dead ass. I looked at him like, get the fuck off of me right now. I'm a tweak. He got off, and then I went back in, and I felt him grabbing me again. Ew, like, oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. Bro. That's, I would be so pissed off. Yeah. So at a certain point, I stopped punching. You just see my feet just, mm, mm. <laughs> But, you know, with lower power. <laughs> <laughs> that's so hey, but fucking I think before annoying. we end this, let's talk about the Cassie P. Diddy thing. Or else we always miss oh, this yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, cultural yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so you guys have heard about the, the, the P. Diddy case. He's getting sued by I've, his I've his heard ex. very briefly about mm-hmm. it, yes. Mm-hmm. You want to do the backstory? Um, no. But I mean, <laughs> Let me babe, I mean, okay, yeah, you do it, you do it. You're okay, better. so the backstory <clears throat> is that she was 19. She wanted to be a music artist. Who's his ex? You didn't say the Cassie. Okay. So Cassie was a 19 year old, and P Diddy was 37 when they met. She was an up and coming artist. Creep. And so uh, they started a relationship over 10 years, and the New York Times just dropped an article. The, the New York Times just dropped an article. Basically, she's dropping a huge lawsuit on it. And in the lawsuit, she states uh, physical abuse, rape, uh, being forced to do things out of her the human control. Human trafficking, too. Basically, like yeah. that's having Holy to sleep with shit. other... Just like really crazy... No, no. Like, just elaborate on that. Having to sleep with what? Other men. So like what he would do is he would have freak shows, is what they would call them. Freak, freak offs. Freak offs is what they'd call them. Not a very cool name. Explain it in detail. And so what he would do would he would hire male prostitutes and force her to have sex with them while he would jack off and film videos in the corner. And then he would show her those videos later. It's just kind of like a humiliation type thing. And he would Power do that. type shit. Yeah, he would do that over and over. And on top of that, he would just like beat the shit out of her. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so now she's, she's suing him for $30 million. And obviously he's a billionaire saying that it's all lies. And whatnot, but there has been handfuls of stories over the years. If you really go dive deep on like P Diddy lore, mm-hmm. there's just stories of him. Even when he was doing making the band and stuff like that, there's like accounts of him just having like crazy outrage of anger. You know, treating people just kind of like puppets in in this, using yeah. his power over people, and obviously like just sleeping around. So, you know. But, some of these behaviors from somebody of his stature, like it, I'm not saying it's right. It doesn't surprise me though. Yeah, because Hollywood like a, is a dark yeah, yeah. is a dark ass place. He's he's like literally the epitome of like Hollywood, like dark, corrupt, fucking elite. evil mogul. Like yeah. you want to be a star? And he's like a cigar. <laughs> like yeah, I'll make you a star. <laughs> he fucking um. Your name in bright lights. I mean, like everyone. Like I feel like the conspiracies about like the fucked up Hollywood shit, like Harvey Weinstein type shit. It's all pretty out there. It's pretty commonplace knowledge now. I remember I saw this fucking interview of P. Diddy's old bodyguard doing an interview somewhere. And he oh. was like, dude, you have no idea how dark some of these Hollywood A-list parties are. He's like, I, it's like something common that would happen is like new up and coming artists, like this new rapper meets a bad bitch at a party. They go into a room alone and dude's getting head or whatever, where he's really drugged up, fucked up. And he's like, thinks he's getting head from this woman and like, at some point, they switch it out with a kid, and then they have him on video getting have, doing sexual acts with a child, and then it's like lit. Now, once, you, now they own you. Once you have that blackmail on someone, like that's what when you think about like how do the elite control all the other elites so well? Just it's, blackmail. It's like are they just because you're rich? Are you all on the same evil team? Blackmail is the number one thing that controls everybody Epstein. because Fear. that's exactly what the point yeah. of Epstein's Island was. Was like you can for whatever reason, end up on the island either tricked or go you go willingly or whatever, right? But you do these acts on camera and the people that need to control you have the end everything button on you. 
So at that point, you will side with whatever side they say. You will push whatever agenda they want to push. You will fucking make whatever type of music they want you to make. You will, you know, donate to whatever causes. You will fucking, you know. Shut your mouth. You will shut your mouth you about anything wanna, you see. Maybe you leave the industry. It doesn't matter. You will never come You'll out never talk them. about it. Yep. And so that's, um, that's like commonplace conspiracy knowledge. And that's what the whole Epstein's thing is. Like, why haven't they released the client list? Like, why? Like, they have or, enough evidence to know who truly was participating in those actions, and they will never release it because it's legit, powerful people that are still walking free that still have tons yeah. of power today. And a lot of people you wouldn't even expect, like celebrities that you probably love. And they also yeah. uh, they uh, confiscated laptops with thousands or hard drives of thousands and thousands of security cam footage. Yeah. They've, they see it all. They've and, saw it. Yeah, I think I think it would literally. And trust in the government. It would destroy world. everything. Like and um, and yeah, honestly, probably our society's not ready to accept that realistically. But the the, the Cassie P Diddy case is like a typical. So I have other friends in the in the entertainment industry, women especially that were groomed by just like rich successful men. And the story is like not as intense. They weren't beaten or anything like that. But a lot of them are very like they they get you on they get you on their payroll. Mm -hmm. They're paying for your rent. They're buying you cars. They're taking you out to nice vacations. And so they have like a power over you. Yep. And you feel like you owe them. Yeah. And and this happens very, very, very commonly. Yep. It's similar with um I thought about this recently. It's similar with rappers and chains. So like not rappers specifically, but the rappers group. So when a rapper, like, you know, mm. get one rapper makes it all his boys, right? Bringing them up, and then he puts this kid that grew up in the hood, like poor as fuck drops a $50,000 chain on their neck and it's like, this is yours now. And the emblem is his logo. It's like, you would die for that man. You would go kill somebody for that man. You would hide a body for that man. And that's like what it symbolizes is like, almost like in a, I'm not saying it's always like that, but in the darkest sense, like it is like you're, you're part of this group now. Like it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of like an, of like an, um, isn't it basically saying like you're I my ride you. or die now? So yeah, low key. If I'm gonna it. if I'm gonna trust you enough to spend this type yeah. of bread on your jewelry, right? Like, yeah. what are you doing for me? And it's not even like they're asking for that, but just the human feeling you get of like this is my boy, and he just blessed me this yeah, hard. Yeah, I'm gonna stay loyal I to will, this person. I will be loyal to this person. Perfect example. They didn't even want to invite you out tonight, and they thought about Jordan because he gave I'll them always think about Jordan first. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, yeah. Get I, me I, a diamond I, bracelet, and I'll make sure I'll go nowhere without you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's just the fucking... All of it's super fucking crazy. This world is very dark and evil. The, um, the, the Cassie P. Diddy thing is going to be interesting because when to get R. Kelly or to get Harvey Weinstein, it took a movement. Yeah. And it took all these girls being brave enough because apparently he's done... In the New York Times article, they said that he literally hung somebody off of a balcony. He's like an evil villain. He's like legit. a He's like a... A movie villain of the but acts worse. that he would do. But worse. Yeah, and, and so like people are, are terrified. It took... All those women to get Cosby, Weinstein. Yeah. So we'll see how it plays out. Honestly, I think a lot of these billionaires can just get it buried under the rug. One million percent. So we shall see. He just seems like he has really bad anger issues too. Like he caught Cassie texting uh, Kid Cudi and set his car on fire. And I was like, what the fuck? This guy's just... Sounds just like I, me for real. <laughs> just this kidding. man's too... People that are... You know, people shouldn't be this rich. Honestly. Well, I think not, the money is the problem. I think this man's that, a billionaire for no. Mm. Not that I, I used to think that you could become a billionaire like ethically, but then as I got to knowing people of that, like I personally now know people of that like level, and I'm like, whoa. You have to step you're on kind so of a, many you people. You do have to fucking be ruthless, mm -hmm. and to be ruthless for that long when you have, because you could do. I think you can end up at a billion, but very rarely. Like as in, like build Twitch and sell it. Like you know what I'm saying? Yep, like yep. that's like the one case. Like, but um. But once you build Twitch and sell it, and then you're still trying to build, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the more you play the game at that level, you, to survive, to get further, like, you have to be kind of, like... To stun somebody else's Yeah, bro. you have to fucking kind of, like, start having that shark, like, it's either you or me mentality, and then it's, I, it starts kind of dark, yeah. It's super funny, because I was talking to, like, a mentor of mine who's obviously worked with billionaires, and he's just, like, one of the stories that he remembers was, uh, like, there was, like, it was something like 5K... They had extra money or something. He was like, oh, one of the employees or one of the higher ups was like, oh, why don't we give it to the employees this month or whatever? Like it is. as a bonus. Oh, yeah, I remember and he, this. And he was just like, no. Put that into my bank yeah, account. Yeah, put that into my bank mm. account. It's like, that's that's the difference. That, and that's just the mentality. But yeah. um, 
you know what's interesting about P Diddy too? So he made a f- like he didn't make all his music uh, money off music. It was the products and everything that he did, like becoming a producer, like owning a label, things like that. But above all else, Ciroc is one of his absolute biggest money makers. Mm. And I think it's like this year alone, he'll make a hundred million dollars from Ciroc. But Ciroc, Ciroc sucks. Ciroc? Yeah, he owns Ciroc. Ciroc. No, no, no. So, so how how it happened is somebody created Ciroc. It wasn't doing well. So then they worked with P Diddy. Uh, the group is called Diageo, and Diageo does Casamigos. They do Ciroc. They do oh. just a, a huge. I think they do Johnny Walker. They do like a huge list of alcohol. And um, P Diddy, they approached P Diddy. They did a partnership, and it was the one of the the biggest breakout successes in alcohol. Huh. Like everybody remembers like Ciroc Boys, things like that. Ciroc, yeah, was Ciroc huge. used to be before Casamigos. It used to be one of the. It used to be the shit. Yeah. I used to love Dragonberry Ciroc. Mm-hmm. Apple Ciroc used to be my shit in high school. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I used was, to get that it, because it was, it was cheap. Heading. You guys liked it? It was cheap. Was in like college, cheap. that shit was, I'm balling out right now if I'm yeah. getting Ciroc. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Ciroc, Ciroc like wasn't the cheap. Ciroc, Ciroc was like, you buy that shit to, to flex to, <laughs> to the flex. fucking hoes. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Bacardi was like, all right, you spend- we weren't all making fucking, you know, money. Uh, mogul money like you. No, I, okay. I thought it was cheap. But yeah, Bacardi was like the, what you buy to, to get really fucked up because it had like a higher. Talking about 151? Yeah. Or, or Jailer Series. Yeah, Bacardi 151 or Jailer uh, Series. Uh, I think it's because I started drinking like later than everybody. I didn't drink in high school. I, I didn't y'all drink know in high before school. I trapped yeah. or anything. I used to get bottles, and that's that was my first source of income. What you Wait, mean? Oh, what? You, you'd sell kids bottles underage because yeah. I, I you had were a homie that would buy it, so I'd get their oh. money, tax them a little bit more money. Nah, you know, what, you know, what my profit. my friend did in high school. He had a fake, and it, we had one liquor store. <laughs> the guy just didn't give a fuck. My friend did not look twenty one. It was the shittiest fake. He would buy fifths. Fill them up in water <laughs> bottles, like not, and then sell water bottles worth of alcohol Damn. for like twenty bucks each. And kids would buy them. It's hilarious. That's hilarious. And sometimes he'd water them down. Um, Genius businessman. Yeah. Hey, so, clubs do that. <laughs> clubs, but water. No, nah, not one club that I know well enough does it. It's a common myth, but I don't. I wouldn't put it past them. I need like a diamond tester test the bottle. Yeah, that's the, like I don't think that they wouldn't. But let me but finish you, this P Diddy well, story on, real quick though. But when you go to clubs and stuff, they actually open the bottle for you, and then like, and then they pour it for you. I'm just like, I've never opened a bottle. No, no, I can taste the liquor in the bottle service bottles. Those are not watered down. But people are saying that like when they oh. make the drinks that they're watered down. Something that they might do definitely is you know a bottle service. Sometimes you don't finish the bottles. They're taking that, putting it behind the bar. Ah. The bottle's been paid for already, and then they're using that money again behind. They're making money off of it again behind Dude, the bar. But alcohol in a club is the craziest margin. Yeah, because it's a thirty dollar bottle. They're getting it wholesale probably for a little bit cheaper yeah. because I know behind. They're like getting paid yeah. under the, the, the table. What you have to pay for is all the licenses. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, expensive. It's ha- hard to, to get To run a club is a very expensive procedure regardless of what the, the literal cost of the alcohol. So that's why it's, they have to make, not have to, you got to make a lot of money on it, obviously. But yeah. like, that's why those prices are there. It's, it's hard really, to get it. So like, I don't even have hard alcohol in my uh, my restaurant because it's, it's just too hard to get. It's like a get. million dollar license. It's really interesting though of, of the marketing <laughs> tactics they use to push a certain alcohol any given night. Yeah. Um, like Taco Tuesdays are obviously like a thing. But let me finish the story about P. Diddy because it's interesting. Mm-hmm. So Ciroc, huge success. And so he was early on the tiki. So when Casamigos, so Diageo then does Casamigos with George Clooney and it just skyrockets and it continues to skyrocket. It's the number one tequila in the United States, I think. P. Diddy was like, yo, we had a lot of great success with Ciroc. I want to do a tequila. And this is before the huge tequila. This is around Casamigos or whatever it is. And he starts De Leon. Have you heard of De Leon? I've heard of De Leon. Have you? No. I didn't know that was his brand. Holy shit. Yeah, that was his brand. And so De Leon, he's now suing Diageo last... uh, I think it was earlier this year. He's he's suing Diageo because... Oh. Diageo also does Don Julio 1942. Mm. So the biggest tequilas in the world are Casamigos and 1942 and De Leon is like a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage. So his lawsuit against Diageo is that... They positioned his high-end tequila towards the black audience instead of making it like a, just a all-inclusive thing like they did with Casamigos or 1942. Mm. So he's suing them for that because it's it's just eating shit. It's so. Casamigos or Casa Azul? Casamigos. Okay. Yeah, it's Diageo. I don't know what Casa Azul is. They're all shit Bell. tequilas. Bell tequila. I liked Casa Azul until you peeled back the lid and ruined it for me. 
What? But what? Every, I also taste every, that vanilla thing in Casamigos. I tasted it right away. I was like, this yeah. tastes fake. That's the thing is once you start actually drinking, the first time I drank additive-free tequila, I was like, this is kind of gross because I associated tequila with not tequila, but literally like the artificial vanilla flavor in the mm. tequila. And that's what I thought tequila is supposed to taste like. So when I tasted something different, it was like, ugh. But yeah. then the more I taste, I kept drinking the other tequila because it's just clearly cleaner and like made me feel better in the morning. And then now when I taste Casamigos, which I used to drink like water, it tastes like I have to force it down because it's like literally like cough syrup bullshit. I, it see, I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. And the, in the Reposado, beginning, you could taste it very clearly. The Reposado is disgusting because yeah. it's like they got to make up for more flavor from the oak. The brown one, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's disgusting. Good job. I still don't like hard alcohol, but yeah, I see what you're taking. Tequila, like good tequila though, that's actually pure if it's... Fortaleza, if you guys want some recs, Fortaleza, El Tesoro, Tequila Ocho. Um, of the ones that you see everywhere, Espelon is probably... <laughs> I went like Espelon. <laughs> Espelon is a good one. <laughs> Dollar Store Therapy. We haven't done one of these in a while, so we've got a lot of questions from y'all backed up, but we're going we're gonna to tackle them right now as best as we can. So, first one. How do you interact with individuals who are raised with privilege, but do not recognize or acknowledge it? I'd like to know how you'd approach communication if this privilege has given them a major advantage in social or professional spaces, changed their behavior for the worse, or even caused them to be tone deaf about major discourse. Mm, I'd ship them off to Africa or third world country. I think she means like literally, like not as if you were God or like the president. And that's dollar store therapy for today. Hey, if you want to leave more questions, drop them in the fourth wall or drop them in the mega, the master thread on Discord. Yes. But regardless, make sure you subscribe and not only subscribe, but turn on the notification bell. Go watch all our new original content. We just dropped the Hawaii movie. It's literally 30 minutes We've long. We've dropped more videos than that by now, too. And if you want the extended yeah, one-hour cut, it's also on the fourth wall. And if you want to see Vit naked... We unblur it on the fourth wall. It's not blurred. <laughs> Hey, are we taking advantage of you? Yeah. Harry, are you being taken advantage of for content? Editor, yeah. cut Say that no. Out. Say no right now. Yeah. And if he doesn't say the right answer, cut it out, editors. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys, Bye. for watching. Love you. Thank Bye. you. Hey, guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.